Let's go! Let's go! Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes! Yes! Thank you, God! Thank you, God! <laughs> Come on, now! <laughs> no? We back round two. Part man, two. Come on, man. Can we good? I tell you, the all-day family don't trip about this stuff, man. They loyal to hey, the soil, man. What, what, what I'll say about this all-day family is they're going to crack their jokes, though. They're going <laughs> to... <they> gonna... <laughs> Is it your Wi-Fi again, KJ? <laughs> it's your Wi-Fi now. It's your microphone. You got that. Hey, um, you... <laughs> you, you got that Dollar Tree Wi-Fi. The Dollar Tree microphone. <laughs> Wait a minute, nah, bruh. You know what they're calling us right now? They calling us boomers, bruh. They calling us boomers, man. They call they us a legion of boomers. <laughs> they <laughs> they stay with some jokes. <laughs> Look, hold on, time out. Y'all know we don't start laughing. We got to get serious. This is too early yeah, man. to be laughing. Let's get serious right now. Right now, Seahawks hire Mike McDonald. He becomes the youngest NFL head coach in the league. Right now, KJ Wright, Super Bowl champion, pro bowler. What are your thoughts about this hire? Someone that loves defense. Someone that played defense for a living. Someone that knows that defense wins championships. Someone that knows we need to stop Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay. Someone that watched Mike McDonald do this at a very, very high level. A very, very high level. We talking number one in sacks this year. Number one in points allowed. Number one in turnovers. The mm -hmm. guy was just dialing up pressures left and right. The guy brought Jadavion Clowney's career back to life. Kyle Van Noy, Roquan Smith was an all pro. Like mm -hmm. so many good about this guy. He's from the, uh, the Harbaugh tree. We know the okay. Raven way is the way. They're consistently in the playoffs, consistently uh, making noise. So, well, okay, let's I'm go happy. over this tree. Uh, money, money, the producer, man, can you put up his, uh, if you can do me a favor, can you put up his resume on the screen so everybody in the all day family, all of us, we can look at the resume and KJ, I want, I want to talk about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he was, uh, he played some high school football. Okay. Uh, he did that. And then after that, he was, uh, he the was GA. a high school, uh, GA, he was a no, high school coach in Georgia first. 2008 2000 line he was a linebackers coach and a running backs coach then he went to georgia then he was a ga right there grad assistant in 2010 and then he was a defensive quality control assistant uh and then boom went right to being a coach intern over there with with the ravens stayed mm -hmm. with the ravens took a break from the ravens went over to uh the university of michigan i remember and let me give folks listening right now a little bit of history and a little bit of a big deal why he was there in michigan during that time 2021 there was a time that they were going to fire they were going to fire jim harbaugh because he was losing against the team up. He was losing against Ohio State, right? He's losing against them. They was getting tired of him. Harbaugh was about to get up out of there. Ohio State travels up to Michigan, plays them in 2021. Mike McDonald is the defensive coordinator. Bam. They punch Ohio State in the mouth. Ooh. It was crazy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, was punching them in the mouth. Had two D linemen go into the draft. He leaves there, then he goes back with Jim's brother, John, mm -hmm. with the Ravens. He catches on, catches fire, defensive coordinator. Now he's with the Seattle Seahawks. Wow. Just like that. Michigan. Just like that. Linebackers coach, DB coach. So he understands the whole echelon of the defense. He understands the back end, understands the second level. His front four plays at a very high level. And, um, yeah. gee, we, we gave this man a warm welcome today, too. A really warm welcome. He got that warm welcome. Let's see it. Ooh, he Let's has see some that love welcome. today. Let's see it. <laughs>
Okay. Okay. Your thoughts on that? Welcome. Um, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep this KJ all day. It, it kind of made this, my... wait. This KJ all day. Tell the truth. It it, it it made my stomach. You know how your stomach churn a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like it, it like kind of hit me in the stomach. Like oh shh, this is, it's it's here. It's it's really real. It's, it's really really real. Okay. Um, I'm used to only seeing them cheer for one person, but mm -hmm. that was a beautiful chapter. It was a fun chapter, a Super Bowl chapter. Won a lot of games in that chapter, and now we go welcome him in with open arms. We're gonna love him up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna trust him. We're going to believe in him. We're going to buy into his philosophy, his culture, right. and um, always compete. No mas. I'm in. Right. No mas. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, to lay some stuff with you. Get ready, KJ. You ready? Okay. Stay ready. Get, get, get ready. Okay. He is the first Seahawks head coach who has not been a head coach before at the pro level. Okay. At a period since Jack Patera. Jack Patera was the Seahawks' first coach of the Seattle Seahawks in 1976. He is the youngest coach by seven years, by the way, to be hired. And of course, previously, Patera was that. By the way, Patera was coach of the year in his third season. Now, okay. here's what I want to ask you about. It feels like this is what I was talking about. It feels like this is a trend. It feels like the young. I keep hearing young, 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 young. Let's go through it, KJ. Um, it all started with Sean McVay, hired when he was 30 years old, head coach. Sean McVay is now 38. Kyle Shanahan was hired as a head coach at 36. Kyle Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan is now 44. Matt LaFleur, head coach for the Green Bay Packers, was 39 young, when young. he was hired. He's now 44. Zach Taylor, head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals, he was hired at 36. He is now 40. Mike McDaniel, Miami Dolphins, was hired at 38. He is now 40. So I want to ask you, and you help us understand, there seems to be a trend with hiring young coaches. Why? Because the game evolves. The game evolves. When you grew up in that 90s era, what do we see? Fullback, running back, going downhill, big linebackers, big tight ends. Those days are done. We see where this game is when it's a quarterback league. It's an air the ball out type of, uh, to an extent. It's a run the football, have that, that wonderful quarterback. And um, when it comes to him, when it comes to McDonald, what he's done on the defensive side of the football, he has made these offensive coordinators look like some scrubs. He has made them look like some Pop Warner play callers. He made mm -hmm. them look mm -hmm. very, very mediocre. Mm -hmm. On a consistent basis, it's not just some one and done stuff. He blew out a lot of teams today or this, this football season. Mm -hmm. Patty Mahomes only scored zero points mm -hmm. versus the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship. And so it's, it's a new wave, a new style of football, and he understands what's being played and how to stop it. Okay. Do you think that maybe in the decision of hiring a defensive young coach, because all the coaches that I gave you just now, KJ, all of them were offensive coaches. Right now, Mike McDonald is the defensive coaches, and we just saw the success with D'Amico Ryan down in Houston. Mm -hmm. So, KJ, it tells me that even though we got this defensive guy here that is going to stop that offense of Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan, the two best play callers in the game in this division, cool. So, basically, you're telling us that the Seahawks – have, we got a head coach, but they have to hit on the offensive coordinator because yeah. that is where the magic is happening. Yeah. Where do they go there? Help us with that. So let me real, before I go there, I'm gonna stay here with them. Like you, the head coach, but you calling plays too. You are the play caller and the head coach. We see that D'Amico Ryan's does that. We see Andy Reid does that. Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay, all those guys are the head coach and they are the play caller. I need okay. the same thing from him. And so the biggest question, if you go stop guys on defense, dang it, we got to put up points on the board on offense. So who's that guy going to be? Who should that guy be? 
There's a name that's ringing. There's a name that's sprinkling around. Let me write this down. Everybody get your pen and paper. Hey, KJ, you got a name. This, you got this, a name that you would like. This is not no inside scoop. I didn't call the Seahawks. Hey, who y'all about to – how's your offensive coordinator? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A guy that, that, that I'm liking. Do you remember T. Martin? Oh, yes, sir. Folks yes, don't know sir. about T. Martin. Folks yes, don't know about T. Sir. T. Martin did what Peyton Manning couldn't do. With all due respect, Payman's the GOAT. But he did this in college. T. Martin is the quarterback's coach of Lamar Jackson. Um, he did it at a high level in college. He's coached in the pros for some time now. And we talk about somebody that's paid their dues, somebody that played the game. I think it's time to give him a shot. We see how explosive that Baltimore Ravens offense can be. What do they do well, G? With the Ravens? Ravens offense. They run their ball. They, you know, like, I like, mean, wait, time out, time out. I mean, yeah, you, you, there was a trick question because okay. the Ravens used to run the ball and they get against the damn Kansas City Chiefs and they let their running back run it three times. They have Lamar Jackson drop back 82% of the time. So, yeah, the Ravens used to run the ball, but they get in the playoffs, and then they get a little tight. Well, T. Martin won the play call then. T. Martin just a quarterback's coach. <laughs> and T. Fair. Martin's about to create two MVPs, potentially, and okay. Lamar Jackson. And so the, that's, the, that's the biggest question. Who does he bring in on the offensive side of the football? What does the rest of his staff look like? KJ, I don't mind. Okay, let me just say this. I'm not, it's not a favorite of mine to continue to see the emphasis put on young, young, young. Oh, we going young. Oh, we going young. Because if that's the emphasis, are people saying the reason for what happened with the Seahawks last season was had to do with age? Did I'm asking. Anyone, did anyone say that? No, but I have proof on how everybody's talking about it's now time for the youth movement. You got my man, Adam Schefter. We got the youth movement happen. Everybody's, we got the oldest to the youngest and this and that is consistently being talked about. People are leading with the conversation of young, young, young. Is young, is that the reason that the Seahawks did not have success last season? Absolutely not. No, okay. that was not. We we did a whole season on why the Seahawks were not successful this past year. Yes, yeah, that's very true. You, you want to go true. back in history? No, 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 okay. no. We don't. Okay. No, we don't. So we no, we, 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 <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> we yeah. know why this team was not successful last year. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that I'm excited for McDonald to bring to the table: if you coming from a John Harbaugh, you gonna understand toughness. You're going to understand discipline as a football mm -hmm. team. Um, those two, thi two things I'm thoroughly excited to watch when, when I turn on that tape. Thoroughly mm -hmm. excited to watch when I turn on the film this year. We talked about training camp, G. No, oh, now this is, this is something interesting you're bringing up, man. This is only you can only get with KJ. Talk to us. You know how many times I tackled and took guys to the ground? In my 10 years in Seattle? In, in training camp? Training camp. You mean to tell me in training camp, KJ, you guys would not tackle? Would not tackle. And as a player, I'm like, yes, thank you. I don't want to tackle in training camp. I want to save my body. I want to stay healthy. Coach, you, Coach, thank you, man. I ain't want to tackle. I ain't want to tackle these dudes in camp. And, um, but, gee, when you really – look at it when you really like look at football when you really look at how we play these past two years when it came to stopping the run i felt like we were missing that that layer that foundation that uh, that you get in training camp so when you get on the football field you already got it because you already been hitting and thumping and you got your neck sore your shoulder pads you taken to the ground I thought we were missing that. I thought we were missing that. 
And um, Coach Carroll, I love him, but, you know, he's looking into sports science, keeping guys healthy. I appreciate it the hell out of it. Thank you. But I know this Ravens team, that, that hardball style, we going to be physical. When have they ever not been physical, G? They've been physical since the 2000s when Ray Ray was there and T-Sizzle. And when you turn on the tape now, I, that's what I'm, I'm going to see with my, with my Seattle Seahawks. They Something. You know what? That's that, that, that's something. That's a great point that you're bringing up. It is very interesting because I never thought about that. I never thought about clanging and banging and tackling in training camp. You know what I mean? And that and I, there's probably a good chance that we're gonna be seeing some of that. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna do that for the fans. I don't know if they're gonna have a fan. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna open it up for the fans. Fans, y'all want to see them clang and bang like that? They need to shoot. <laughs> Hey, but hey, hey, but McDonald, hey, here's the thing. I know I ain't trying to be bossy or nothing, but my guy Super Sam got to be out there at training camp, you know, playing the no, ones and twos. Shout out to Super. You got to no be out there playing the ones Super. and twos. Yeah, they trying to tell to you how to Super. do your job already, but no you know. doubt. Okay, um, let's see which where I want to go before we leave. I got some. I got some good stuff for you before we leave off this. I do want to ask you. You said T Martin. That's your wish list. Can you throw Ejiro Evro, the person that I wanted to be head coach? Maybe he can come over, or is he gonna probably go stay there? Who do you got for defensive coordinator here in Seattle, KJ? He's gonna probably bring one of his guys from the Ravens. He could probably bring a linebackers coach. He could bring a D line coach, a DB coach. He could bring somebody to promote them from a position coach. Now you're the defensive coordinator. You're okay. the defensive coordinator. So he mm -hmm. wants some familiar faces that he had in Baltimore to bring on this staff. Hey, help mm -hmm. me teach these guys the the new way. The I'm not gonna say the Raven way, but the the Raven way. I mean, can we? I, I, what, what way should what way should he be trying to teach these guys? It's not the Raven way. The C, is it the Seahawks way or what I'm used to? What I want to see out of these guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he got to bring well, somebody over here to really show them how things should be done. There's a lot of people that's going to be that's watching this right now. They're going to go to work tomorrow. They're going to go to school. This is what they want to know from you, KJ. They want to know if they are able to say, we back. We back. No, no, no. Seahawk fans want to know if they want to be able to say, we back. KJ, the Seahawks, are they back? I got a text message today from my guy. He said, what do you think about the Seahawks move? I said, we're going to win a Super Bowl in three to four. Let me pull my phone. We're going to win a Super Bowl in three to four years. That's what you I said. You said that? That's what I said, G. I said what I said. We're going to win a Super Bowl in three to four years with him as our head coach. With how we about to build this team, G, with Schneider, with this guy, a blend of what, what, what John has done, him bringing in what they've done over there in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. and you go combine those things. You go give me some, some pieces on defense. You go give me some pieces on the offensive line. Mm -hmm. this, is about, this, is, this is about to be a match made in heaven. A match made in heaven. And so we back, we back, back. KJ, KJ, KJ. You got the confidence, I'm glad. And I'm I'm riding with you. I'm confident. I'm com I'm riding to the wheels fall off with this Seahawks team. But uh, I already know down the street in San Fran, down the street in L.A. They got some they got some bullies, KJ. And it's gonna be like so. What I'm trying to say is is when you say people are able to say we back. As in expectation playoffs right away? Expectations, playoffs. I'm glad you brought San Fran up. Money Mike, can you pull up what Mike McDonald did this past season versus San Fran? Pull up, pull up. Well, Houston, nine points. Cleveland Browns, three points. Detroit Lions and Ben Johnson, six points. Seattle Seahawks, three points. Jaguar, seven. San Francisco, they shouldn't even score it this many. Them some garbage points towards the end. They picked off Brock Purdy five times in that game, said Sam, Sam Darnold come in and save the day. And then Sam Darnold mm -hmm. got some garbage points and held Tyreek 
Hill and Jalen Waddle to 19 points. Mm. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what okay. we did versus San Fran this past year. Brock Purdy, CMC, made them look like some chumps. Okay. So, okay. All, all right. I know is so, <clears throat> I, I, I like that. I like that. So, let me try this for you and let me see if I can get you and all the all day people feeling where I'm coming from on something. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Have you, is there a favorite dish that you can cook? Is there is you do you have a go to dish? Everybody listen. Do you have a go to dish that you can make? Like mine is my macaroni and cheese is off the chain. What's yours? When I get on that Traeger grill, I put on that chicken. I season it up. Put it on that Traeger grill. You got a you got a you got a Traeger grill. You got a Traeger grill at home? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you bring that up. Now, KJ, what happens sometimes when you go to somebody else's house and now you got to get ready to cook that meal? And they don't, but, but they don't have a Traeger. They got a small little grill and they expecting you for your food to taste just as well as it did on that crate, on that, on that Traeger. So what I'm, you, you get where I'm going with this? Do I, do I, I get what I'm, do I got my lemon pepper? Do I got my garlic powder and all that? You, I mean, you you got to use what they got. <laughs> you can't bring. Hold on, now, hear me. I'm listening. You can't bring any of your utensils or nothing. You are coming to this house. And have you ever gone to somebody else's house to cook and you got frustrated? And you said, "Lord, I can't cook in here. The kitchen too small. The baby's in the way. I ain't got what I got. I ain't got what I need." So what I'm trying to say is, you, you, you follow me now? I'm catching your drift. I'm catching your drift. I'm not disagreeing what he did in Baltimore, holding teams to 16.5 points a game. All I'm saying is, is when he comes in, he's going to have to make sure he can find his tools. He can find his recipe because I'm quite sure he likes to make and cook things a certain way let me ask you this g let me let me let me come back on you when you look at the baltimore ravens defense player for player 11 versus 11 compared to the seattle seahawks defense <clears throat> player for player talent for talent 11 for 11 where are we they got a kyle hamilton they got a roquan smith we have a Leonard Williams. We got free agents. I don't want to get in trouble on this podcast right now, man. You're hey, going you you to get have, me in trouble right now. We, we have defensive rookie of the year. Answer the question. Because in my per in my humble opinion, the Baltimore. I, 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 but I see who you're asking about. I see who you asking about right now. But there, there, there's some okay. There's some situations. There's some also some areas where you're not going at right now, and that, that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes I'm, when I'm, you go, you see you see the recipe in there, and then you see there's some seasonings, and you asking, uh, where'd you get that seasoning salt for? They ain't got no Johnnies, and they ain't got no Lowrys. They just got it say seasons on it, and you asking where they got it from, and they say, I got it from the dollar store. <laughs> Lord have mercy, you ain't got no Johnnies. You know in the Pacific Northwest, you need Johnnies. Y'all know damn well, <laughs> mama and daddy need Johnnies. You gots to have your Johnnies. Look, the Ravens got about four dudes. Dudes, dudes, you know? Dudes, you know what I'm talking about? Yep, yep. They got about four. Seattle Seahawks. How many dudes do we have on defense? And you gotta say no names. You gotta say no names. G, we're not gonna play the name game. What does what does what does he have to work with this football season? Okay, I'm gonna he, say okay. Don't I'm, say no okay, names. I'm, don't say no I'm, names. I'm, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna go dudes, dudes, dudes. Okay. One, two. Drop in the chat. Drop in the chat. How many dudes we have? Three. No, I'm not, 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 now y'all, I'm talking about dudes now. I'm talking about, I'm talking about every time. Look, it, dudes to the point where you like, let me get that jersey. Dudes. One, two, 
three. This is my number right here. This is my number. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, oh, four, 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 four. Four okay. dudes. We right four there. Four dudes. We right there. Four so, dudes. So what I'm saying is he has stuff to work with here. He has, and he can make those role players look like a Kyle Van Noy look this past year. Look like a Jadavion Clowney. Uh, Kyle Hamilton, he really came on the scene this year and became an all-pro safety. So when you talk about taking dudes and some role players, you create a number one defense in the league. You create a lot of turnovers. So okay. he, he's bringing guys to life. He's saving guys' careers with, with what this guy's doing. So I'm thoroughly excited to see how he takes our defense, who has a bunch of talent, and raise their game to a new level. Mm -hmm. How about uh, the chat saying? What the chat saying? How many dudes they say? Mata, Mata, Mata Smith and Jigba is listening right now. Um, oh, Mata is listening, and he's laughing about the seasoning right now. now. But when you get ready to clean up the kitchen, when you get ready to clean up the kitchen, is there a favorite thing that you got to clean with? Now, my mama back in the day used to clean with pine saw. Some of y'all, we growing up, you smell that pine saw. But KJ, me and Mata be on that. You know about that Fabioso? The I got on that Fabioso. Yeah. The perp. Come on. That's, come on. <laughs> hey, that's, that's the way. Pour a little yeah. bit in your toilet. Yeah, that on, Fabioso, man. boy. Yeah, let's go. And in okay. The sink. Okay. So we got to that part of it. We got okay. to how that's going to go. Um, what is realistic expectations that we should have right now what is the expectations that we should have as a fan base and that's what we are we are fans what are you and all your friends talking about okay let's slow it down let's really slow it down because I'm, I'm on my positive bus right now my energy positive bus so let's really slow this thing down it takes time for someone to come into a new place new people new management new training staff, new equipment staff. It takes time for someone to really settle in, to really settle down, to really find their groove, okay? Can yeah. we all agree to that? It, it, yes. It, 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 it takes time. Yes. Will we be competitive this season? Yes. Will we okay. have an opportunity? Will we be right there when it comes to making the playoffs? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, Coach Carroll, when he nah, – I hate to compare and all this stuff – but when Coach Carroll came here in 2010. 10, 2010, yeah. 7-9. He, he made the playoffs at 79. The following year, what was Coach Carroll's record? My rookie year. Uh, eight, you guys eight, were? 8-9 eight and nine or 8-8? Eight eight. No, I think you were worse than that. You had a losing, you had a losing season. Yeah. And okay. um, so that took two years for one of the best to ever do it to get mm -hmm. it figured out in 2012 when we okay. took all the way off. We took off. Okay. So it's, it's going to take some time for him to get settled in, build his staff the way he wants to build it. He's going to sit with John Snyder. Hey, John, because um, when, when McDonald first gets here, he's going to turn on that tape, G. McDonald's mm -hmm. going to turn on that tape. He's going to look at his offensive players. He's going to look at his defensive players. He's going to look at his special teams guys mm -hmm. and say, yeah, I like this guy. I could work with him for the next three to four years. Oh, this guy, mm -hmm. his contract is coming to an end. Yeah, I don't think that, you know, it's going to – I don't see oh, quite a fit him with this organization going forward. He doesn't bring the skill set that I like on the defensive side of the football. So mm -hmm. those two are going to have to build what we want to see when it comes to winning a Super Bowl. And so those are the expectations is let's stay patient the first year or so. Okay. But hey, that third, do you, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Do, do you expect a better year, uh, out of Rick Willen. One million percent. One million percent. And, and it's funny, G. <laughs> it's funny when you have seasons like Rick had where you just look and like, man, what was that? Who I don't even I don't even recognize that guy. The tackle. What was your season? What was your season like that? What was your season where you like I don't even recognize me. My season was 2017, either 2017 or 2016. 
on a consistent mm. basis. I'm like, bro, you are weak. You are whack, actually. You not playing good football. Um, that was when Cam was born, and I kind of went through like this mental phase where I wanted to retire. I just wanted to be a stay-at-home dad. We'll get to that story another day. But um, I just turned on the tape. I wasn't engaged. I wasn't involved. My contract was guaranteed. You just mm -hmm. look super slow, my guy. Super slow. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, it's, it's cool that, that Reek had this type of season he had last year. Self-evaluate mm -hmm. yourself. You got a new coach that's coming in. It's, everything is – everybody's starting here. K everybody's KJ, starting here. KJ, can you help us understand what that's like? Because, um, you know, there's a lot of Seahawks fans, you know, <laughs> look, man. Daddy been there for 14 years. You know what I mean? Daddy been there for 14 years. And now, you know, he gone. They got a divorce. You know what I'm saying? Kids hurting. Don't know what to do. And now it's a new new, new daddy that's in here. You know what I mean? And he cool because you don't really call him dad right away. You call him uh, Mr. Mike. You know, because you got to really just separate. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You know, and you don't ask him to take you to Disneyland right away. You just call him Mr. Mike. But what is it like when... It is a very complete new staff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your microphone. Microphone. I can't hear you. Did you touch your microphone? Did you hit the mute button? I can't hear you. Mm -mm. Yeah, do what you did before with it. Oh, you there? No, you must. There must be something that's that's with your computer because you just touched it and I could hear it. Nah. How about now? Yeah, yeah. But you're on my earphone. Earphones now. Okay, we, we we keeping it. We keeping it. We we stand with it, KJ. So so what happens? You hear me? Yeah, you good. What, hap you what good. happens when a new coach comes in? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't give a damn about 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 what you did in the past. I don't give a damn about them Pro Bowls you had. I don't give a damn mm -hmm. how much money you made. We starting from square one. We starting right here from square one. Every position is wide open on this football field. Ooh, every, every position, huh? Every position is wide open on this football field. And um, we, we ain't here to, to make friends with nobody. We're here to win championships. And so when we step on this football field in OTAs, mm -hmm. off-season training activities, you, we taking notes. We taking notes. Who's showing up? Oh, who 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 learning the playbook? It's a whole new playbook they're going to have to learn, G. Coach, mm. what the, that stuff they learned with Coach Carroll from all those years, you got to learn something completely different, new verbiage, new terminology, new schemes, new run fits. And you can't just show there, up, for, you can't just show up for training camp, but then you just go know it. You got to learn this stuff in April. Are there any coaches that are still around that you would like to see a part of the staff? I would like to go ahead and throw – uh, a name. I know he's a partner of yours, a good friend of yours. Uh, Deshaun Shedd. So even I would like to see I would like to see Deshaun Shedd stay around and be a part of this organization and be a part of this team. Deshaun Shedd is the heart and soul of a lot when it goes on in that DB room. So I love him. You know who else I want around? Obviously Deshaun Shedd, but guess what I just ran into like two hours ago? Who? Clock, clock, clock. Oh, easy. Z. How many Z's? Three Z's. Spider-Man. Three Spider -Man. Z's. Spider-Man. Ah. So I would love to see Nico. I would love to see Nico Thorpe here as well. Can you still hear me, G? Oh, you really good. Now, what'd you do? I did something different. So I would love to see Nico here as well. Deshaun Shed, Nico Thorpe. Clint Hurt got a job. I love that. Clint Philadelphia Hunt, he, Eagles, D-line coach. Yep, K. Scott got a job. And so um, we bring those two dudes back. Because Deshaun Shea, he means a lot to this organization. He means right. a lot to this organization just off of what he did. Super Bowl champion. 
um, gave his heart to this to this franchise. Had an opportunity to leave. People don't know this story about Shed. Shed had an opportunity to leave while he was on the practice squad, but he stayed loyal to the Seattle Seahawks. and said, I'm gonna stay on the practice squad and earn myself a starting spot, and he did just that. So, hey, bring my guy back. I love D Shed, man. I no, love no, that dude. No, G, G, G. Everybody loves D Shed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't love Russell Wilson. Everybody don't love Richard Sherman. Everybody don't love KJ. Everybody loves D Deshaun Shed. Solid, mm, solid dude. Not. You ain't coming to coach, are you? No, I don't know. Man, what the <laughs> hell? What the hell? Maybe, maybe KJ, so. Huh? You, you think, this is where your life is, bruh. This is you right here, KJ. Right here, and then during the football season, you in that booth. Hey, you, you know this? Hey, you know how you get that girl that look like. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm looking at McDonald's. Like, the my friend. So, AJ, um, if uh, if Mike McDonald, listen, we're about to get to the questions, okay? But if Mike McDonald called you tomorrow and wanted you to come to his office and he said, I need Cat Williams to come in here and uh, be a part of this coaching staff, what would you say? You want who? You want you want me and a, and a drop of a dime. I'll drop whatever I got and come serve you, Coach McDonald. <laughs> what you want me to do? I get the ass right. That mess we saw last year is not happening ever again as long as this pimp is in town. <laughs> That's what Cat Williams said. <laughs> Ooh. Right. You got to sweat, man. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you got hey, sweat. Hey, Mata, Ma, hey, make sure y'all say what's up to Mata Smith up in here. Mata man, Smith is, is in the building. Man, he, Mata, they know who that is. Mata Smith and Jigba. He, he in here right now. Make sure y'all say what's up to him. Hey, okay. let's go. Let's get to the questions. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. We not done. Are we not? Oh, my Hell bad. no. We ain't even hit on the... Oh, I guess we kind of hit on the offensive side. All right. Yeah, we good. I think you, we good. Okay. Okay. Yo, here Cat Williams be killing it, man. <laughs> hey, hey, not on my watch. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. What questions we got? Ryan Mahoney says McDonald wow. is half the see already <laughs> see oh wait McDonald is half the age of Pete do you think he might be able to help with y'all's Wi-Fi <laughs> see I'm about to roast you back Ryan Ryan you, you cold back. for that I got Ryan, something for you you go for that oh real quick I gotta give love to one of the folks on Seahawks Twitter. She is a wonderful lady. Hey, producer, can you put it up? Her name is Whitney. She was one of the ones that kind of sent the tweet out uh, about almost a day, uh, around this time last night from my friend, Mike McDonald is flying in tonight with his fam and he's the guy. So I got to give Whitney some love because she called that. She's part of Seahawks Twitter. KJ, she's one of the nicest people in the world. Folks know about Whitney. Did um did he fly back on the plane with the with the Seahawks? Because they went there yesterday. Did he just hey just hey go pack your stuff. Hey man, we're waiting on you. Come on, PJ with us. And we don't know what they did. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. We don't know what was going on. But I just had to give our girl wit some love. Next question. I'd rather be flying. What's up, man? I'm already tired of the oldest to the youngest storyline. Who cares? Can he coach? Can he lead? Besides, Pete was the world's oldest teenager. I'm feeling you right there. I'd rather be flying. Yes. I'm feeling that too. I'm feeling that too. Can he coach? Yes. Can he lead? To be seen, to be determined. To be mm -hmm. determined. And um man, when when they showed that video, I I could only think about my guy, man. What video? About my, of of all the people walking them in with with open arms. Yeah, that kind of that made my stomach hurt a little bit. You know what? It, you know what it remind you know what it remind me of? You know, it's like seeing your baby mama with a new man. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, you cool. Y'all good. You know, I'm not together no more. But yeah. you see your baby mom with a new man. You know, you're like, hey, what's up, man? And you're like, good, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> that's staying, G. That's staying. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, though, no, man. Like, sometimes, look, somebody right now knows what I'm talking about with that one right there. It's cool. Like, you like. Hey. Next, next question. Next question. Britt Diggs. What's up, Brett? That's my guy right there. Britt, man, first of all, why you look so damn good in your picture? Can this Britt Diggs be looking good in this picture? That's a good photo. That, that's that's a cannon. That's a cannon he took that picture with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, KJ, the three four hasn't worked for us with the current personnel under Pete. We wanted Pete to scrap it, but with Mike McDonald now head coach, do you think we keep running it? You better believe it, Brett. <laughs> you better believe it. And I said this about Coach Carroll when we changed to this three four scheme. When you change to something that you're not familiar with. When stuff starts to go sideways, when stuff starts to get a um, little dicey, you don't got the, the enough tools to know how to fix everything. Coach Carroll, mm -hmm. I could fix anything out of a 4-3 over defense. There's nothing mm -hmm. you could throw at me that I can't figure out. I'm sure with this 3-4 scheme that he's going to bring in here, I know this thing like nobody's business. So, yes, we are still running this. We ain't bring him in here to change and make, make stuff up. Keep running this. Okay. Next question. <clears throat> Bionic Giraffe says, when is the announcement for KJ at DC? Man. <laughs> Stop playing Bionic. <laughs> DC? Yeah. That's... Brian Venezuela, uh, Valenzuela says, what do you think of Eric B as OC? Good contrast to... Uh, to, who, who's MD? Mc, McDonald. Mike oh, McDonald. oh, oh! To contrast to McDonald, age and experience. Eric B. Enemy. Nah. Nah. T. Martin, my guy. T. Martin. Brian, do your homework on T. Martin. Start at the University of Tennessee and look at his track record since he came to the NFL. T. Martin, my guy. I don't want no Eric B. Enemy. Mm -mm. Hey, real, real quick, we gotta address something. We should have addressed the offense. I, that's my bad. We moved on. You tried to tell us because what happened was we got folks in the comments right now. Uh, a trade DK. Hold on. What? In the, what is wrong? Did y'all? I mean, I know it's legal in this state, but you can't do that while you're watching all day. Come on, now. What you mean, trade DK? Are y'all kidding what's, me? What's y'all reasoning? Is there a lot of people saying that? No, it was a couple, but it was enough. It was, was enough. I don't want to see none of that talk. What's what's the I mean, what's the reasoning behind it? Hey, Seahawks offense got. And speaking of the offense, you think Mike Mike McDonald got? Now, I will say on the offensive side of things, Mike McDonald has a lot to work with on the offense, right? I mean, he's got he's got two bookend tackles, young guys. They're going to be here for a minute. You know he's got the wide receivers solid right there, solid as a rock. Uh, and you know he's got, well, if there's a question mark, I need to see better out of that run game. That run that game's got to be. That, that, that run game's got The running back room. Running back room needs to improve. No question about it. And uh, Gino, oh, your boy Gino is on the way to the Orlando, to the Pro Bowl. Gino, Gino, Gino. Congratulations, Gino. DK, this is first Pro Bowl too? Sure D is, ain't it? D DK going to the Pro Bowl. Yeah, DK going to the Pro Bowl. Mm. Okay, DK. He, yeah, I was about, I better make a joke, but I ain't going to make it though. Was it Next good? Question. Next that question. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Ocean Hills detailing. What's up, Ocean Hills? As much as I'm excited for McDonald, man, this... By the way, every time I see McDonald's spelled like that, I want some French fries. Babe, we get some fries. You got some fries? As, as much as I'm excited for McDonald, it's going to be hard not to miss Pete. Is Pete really done? Pinch me. G, what's the coolest car you've done? You know what, Let, man? Go ahead. Go ahead, KJ. Let's, let's just play the video one more time 
for if you missed it, let's just play the video one more time to let people know that, you know, it's it's a new era. There's a new era and the people in the VMAC have welcomed in McDonald as a new head coach. Let's just That's, that's, that was dope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My favorite, yeah. My, my, the best car I've ever detailed, my favorite, my one of my pride and joys was this one right here. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. Let's see. I see a red car. Other way. Yeah. That's, oh, I know, I know, I know who car that is. You know whose car that is? is that's that Jack, Jackson? baby. It's Tavares Jackson. Jackson. That was the first day he pulled up in that first day. And he said, gee, put some wax on it for me, baby. And man, I waxed T-Jack's car that day. And he would all he get it clean once a week. Man, I used to have that thing sparkling, baby. Jack, rest in peace, my boy. Solid, solid dude, man. Yeah. Solid dude. All right, what's next? Kevin Williams. What's up, my guys? Do you think he could save Jamal Adams' career in Seattle? I hope so. What's the thing, G? So you you want me to answer this? Um, respectfully, I think uh, I don't know if he's going to retire. I don't know what the plan is about that, but uh, respectfully, I think his time in Seattle's done. I mean, I mean, I, he 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 was great, good player, all that. I really just think his time in Seattle is uh, is done. A absolutely, one hundred percent. I believe that yeah. through my heart, through and through. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to. It's gonna be hard. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you 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 can't just not be on the sidelines for the last three games. It's just just can't do that. Next, uh, Orion uh, Orion LLC says, "What's good, fellas? Now that we have our OC, now that we have our HC head coach, who would y'all like to see as our offensive and defensive coordinators?" And KJ with McDonald, do you see him maybe using Spoon like he used Hamilton in Baltimore? I'm convinced that he's bringing someone from the Baltimore Ravens on this staff to be the defensive coordinator. There's no way. There's no way he's bringing in someone that he's not familiar with onto this staff to, to call plays. And so off, on offense and defense to, to keep it a buck with you. And so bringing a linebackers coach over there, DB coach to be the defensive coordinator. And then she bring somebody from the Ravens to call plays on offense. Bring T Martin, T Martin y'all, that's what I'm rolling with. Sean Hines Shh. says, so where the spoon moved to Hamilton's position? With the spoon is gonna be the cornerback and the nickelback. Yes, he's going to be all over the place, just how we utilized him last year. Him putting him in the middle of the field like Hamilton was. Hamilton was in the box as well. He's going to utilize Spoon the right way. Trust me, he's going to utilize Spoon the right way. Number five overall pick, four, whatever he was, he ain't going to let that talent go to waste. <clears throat> Trust me, he's going to be living in the backfield like he was this past season. I'd rather be flying. Have you guys heard what the players think about this? What's the initial reaction in the locker room? You know what? I got I'm not going to lie to y'all. I haven't talked to one current player about this. Mm -mm. Not one. Mm -mm. I was with I was with talking to former players. Former players, you know. Yeah, I talked to former like, players too. Yeah, we talked to former players. These new guys don't like me. Next question. Taryn says, who are some realistic free agents from the Ravens? Since the Seahawks don't have much cap space, Clowney, B. Urban are dogs. Also, draft Junior Colson. So the Baltimore Ravens got a defensive lineman, number 92. Damn, I forgot his name. If y'all type in the chat, Baltimore Ravens got a defensive lineman, number 92. He's a free agent this year. They talk about franchise tagging him. This dude, G, he ain't got an ounce of body fat on his body. I would love to see him come in here. Patrick Queen is also a free agent from the Baltimore Ravens. We'll see right. what happens. Both Bobby and both Jordan are free agents. 
we'll see what happens with that. And um, Clowney, who's B. Urban? I don't, I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, KJ. Um, I don't know if this is weird, but it's all day, so you know I ask questions. Um, what's who's the who's the most built in shape dude that on any of your teams you ever had? That's the guy's name, Justin Matabuke. Justin, I would love to see mm. Justin Matabuke. Y'all Google his name, Justin Matabuke. Thank you so much, Katie. But the most built up, built up the, like you, like like you looked low key. You was like, yeah, damn. How you 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 familiar with Alexander the Great, the the one that they got over there in Italy? He has that statue. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kid you not. I kid you not. Jimmy Graham's body looks just like Alexander the Great, or the, the King David. No, it's King David. That's King David. It's King Jimmy David. Graham ripped up like that. Pecs, six pack, glutes, thighs, handsome face. It's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Jeez. Hey, you, hey, you, what do you think that Patrick that Patrick Mahomes? Um, bruh, man, money might. Money Mike, pull, money up Mike. Patrick, <laughs> pull up the Patrick Mahomes thing. The total opposite just, of that. I just want to know how in the world does this dude right here be escaping all these damn D linemen? How come y'all can't catch this dude? Look at this dude. Money, he'll need some time to pull it up, G. <laughs> oh. Oh, I but, thought I, I thought he oh, I thought yeah, he had okay. But, but uh Jimmy Graham, hands down. Yeah. All right, next question. Oh, I guess we can have, we have him do. But, oh, there we go. Appreciate you, man. RJ says, shout out, G. Killed it today on the news. KJ, can you walk us through a player's mindset when a new coach comes in? Are they excited, nervous, unsure, all of it? Love y'all, show. Keep it up. RJ, they are all the above. They excited. Okay, yeah, we got a new guy coming in. They nervous. Like, okay, you know, what is he going to think about me? Do I got to reprove myself to this coach? I got to sh show him who I am all over again. And um, so they definitely really excited to see, okay, what is our practices going to look like? What is our, are we going to run through the bags like we did? Probably not. Are we going to have uh, competition Thursday or competition Wednesday? No, we're not. And so it's going to be a whole new style. Walkthrough is going to be different. Training camp is going to be different. How long you stay in the building is going to be different. When I went to the Raiders, G, <clears throat> I was out the building by five o'clock early. I was out that building early. I'm like, dang, y'all done already around here? Some coaches, he may have you in that thing all night. Mm -hmm. Training camp, you ain't leaving that thing till 10 o'clock, back here at six o'clock. And so there's gonna be things I have to get acclimated to, get, get used to, because he's bringing a whole new style to this city. Hey, but you, let me ask you this though. You think some of them dudes that weren't starters, them twos and threes, they like this. Yeah. They like, yeah. I got action. Now we about to see. Hey, them practices gonna be intense. They're gonna be turned o OTAs up. gonna be packed. Ooh, ooh, and you know, G, mm. when a new coach come in, they gotta come to OTAs. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all got to get this thing early. They get mm -hmm. like two weeks early. Yeah. All right, what we got next? Good question, RJ. Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh! Wait a minute, Brady. My homeboy. <laughs> KJ, how come y'all can't catch that? And what is this frat boy doing behind him? <laughs> what is he doing behind him, bro? Hey, hey, come he on. Gonna be the, he gonna be the president of the team in about 20 years, 15 years. KJ, how but, come y'all can't how come how come folks can't tackle uh Patrick Mahomes? I don't know. I know Jimmy Graham body ain't look like that though. Go back, Money Mike. Hold up, go back, Money Mike. <laughs> hey, that is the <laughs> best quarterback <laughs> that outside of Brady that we've probably ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. And keep doing you. Keep eating how you eat, Patty. It's working. 
All right, what we got next? Fresh Visions. KJ, you have to admit that this is a great decision. Yes, Pete and Dan was key part of Legion of Boom, but there is a need for new young blood. Go Hawks. I'm, I'm not fighting this Fresh Visions. When Coach Carroll first got let go, my first natural reaction was bring in DQ. Bring in Dan Quinn, Legion of Boom. We can bring it back. We can recapture it. But I totally get this decision to go all the way away from Coach Carroll tree, the Coach Carroll tree. I totally get it. I totally understand it. I get it. Um, I like the new blood. I like the young blood. It makes all the sense in the world. Everybody in the city is happy with this decision, G. Everybody they in the city. They, they gave him a six-year deal, KJ. Guaranteed. They gave my man six years. So he here. You're and he here. said, I'm going I'm, I'm to be here for a while. And I'm gonna win. We gonna win a bunch of games. He pull said that it. Cl pull that clip up, Money Mike. He said it. Pull it. Here for a long time. I've been a lot of football games. So yeah. Hey. Hey, you said it. Hey, hey, you said it. We believe it. Next one. Brett Diggs, KJ. Should we be expecting a big leap? For Derek Hall in year two under Mike McDonald, I am and Mafe too. You know what, Brett Diggs? Let me let me let me say something to you. What you just said right there, Brett Diggs. It is so important that Derek Hall has a big year coming up. It is so important that Mafe has a very good year three. It is very important that Reek has a good year three. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, look. These players, as much as we are next man up, we still, the guys that they have, they're going to have to step up and play better. Up. That's how the Seahawks go to the playoffs right away I, in year one of, of his uh, tenure. And I need so much more from Derek Hall. I need so, there's so much more to Derek Hall. Like I saw a guy in training camp. You remember that practice we went to, G? And we, we watched mm -hmm. how Derrick Hall went off. Like, Derrick Hall went off in training camp. I'm like, man, this guy going to mess around and be rookie of the year, the way yeah. he looking. But um, mm -hmm. he, he I don't think he made a tackle this past season. I don't think he made a tackle this season. And so, let's let's go. It's go time. You ain't a rookie no Next more. One. <clears throat> Next one. Mike V says, what happened to the Hawks using rugby tackling? Got away from it. <laughs> my guy Rocky Next Seto one. left. Next one. Good, good question, Mike V. Sarah, what's up, Sarah? Hey, KJ and G, could y'all see Pete stepping into a mentor advisor role for Mike as he settles into head coaching in the NFL? Much love. Go Hawks. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's that's no longer, Sarah. That's not happening. Mm. Um he served his time. He kicked a lot of tail, but no mentor, no but advising. You, he could, he could but being out. serious, being serious, KJ, I forget what they call it, but you do know that more and more couples are splitting up and are actually staying together. Sometimes the daddy live downstairs, mama live upstairs. No, I'm, I'm not even that. talking about football. I'm being I've for real. That. I've seen There's that. a lot of people, man, you know, you, you buy that house, right? And so when you buy that house, you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like, look, we can't afford to buy anybody out, so you staying. You know what I mean? Like, if there, I don't know if there's anybody watching right now that's in that situation, but if you are, kudos to you. Gen Z is way more mature than millennials and baby boomers and Gen X. Gen Z like, man, look here. We want to still buy our avocado toast. We still want to buy our lattes. So we're going to go ahead. We can't, It's hard to go buy a house, so sometimes you got to live with your baby mama still. That's what happens. It's hard out here, KJ. KJ, could you ever live with your ex? We would have to. I could. I could. We would have to have an understanding that you can't bring nobody in this house. I can't bring nobody in this house. If you're going to do your thing, do your thing elsewhere. But don't bring nobody in this house. I want to hear my, something going against my walls. Keep him out the house, but we could live together if financially I mean, speaking, you, I wasn't able to make it. But before we move on, let's just say one night you can't sleep and three in the morning, 
they your significant other come in the door and as soon as they come in the door they go right to take a shower <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay. Hey. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ray Mysterio. What's up, Ray Mysterio? Gee, we need the Johnny's <laughs> F the Lowry's. Now, hold on. It all depends what region you're in. In the South, they having different seasonings in the South. In the Midwest, we got Lowry's. On the West Coast, you guys got Johnny's. You guys got the Louisiana in the South. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Ray Mysterio, go get, go get you some Tony Satchers. Tony Satchers. It's a green bottle. Do yourself a favor. Yeah. Who calling me by my government name? <laughs> Richard Bird. <laughs> Why are you calling me Kenneth? <laughs> Only uh, a select few of people on this planet call me by my government name that I actually respond to. Sherm call you Kenneth? No, Sherm call me Cam call me Kenneth. Sherm call me Ken. Really? Sherm okay. call me Ken. Cam call me Kenneth. 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 <laughs> anyway, you read the question. Uh Kenneth and G. Finally here. I live in Indiana, a place as raggedy as KJ's Wi-Fi. <laughs> so <laughs> So I can't catch Sunday lives, but I've seen all the vids. You think after Super Bowl, you'd be able to do more Friday, Saturday nights? Much love. Well, Richard Burr, what part of Indiana are you? Because you guys know I went to military school in Indiana. I played college ball in Indiana. So where, where, where area of Indiana are you at? Um, yes, man. <laughs> Super Bowl. Super Bowl. We for sure doing it after the Super Bowl. Should we do a recap Sunday for the Pro Bowl? Yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. We gotta we gotta recap that Pro Bowl. Oh, Fort Wayne? Hey, Richard Burton, Richard Burton, Fort Wayne. Hey man, I went to I went to college at Tri-State University. Right there in Angola. I used to kick it in Fort Wayne all the time, Richard Bird. I went to school in Howe, Indiana. Look it up. Come on now. Next one. What we got next? Brent Diggs, G. Uh, what you gonna say? What's the capital of Indiana? Is it Indianapolis? Yeah. Indianapolis, okay. Right. There you go. Brid did, by the way, I like uh, Indianapolis Airport. I like the airport. Uh, Brett Diggs, G. A big part of the growth of this new era is the uh, Seattle, the Seahawks fans to detox from Pete. Let Mike McDonald grow and learn with these new players. Seahawks, you know, basically Seahawks, Ravens. You're right. There is going to be a detox. G, let's keep it a bug, man. Like, how you i haven't asked you how you how are you feeling are you mixed emotions are you excited are you you still I mean, mourning are you where are you at okay look i mean there's been a i ain't gonna lie to y'all I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all i've had some moments man i shared some tears dog like for real we talking about Pete, fam. Like mm -hmm. my, I don't have the life that I have today without Pete. My son ain't playing college football today. Without, I mean, come on, man. We talking about my life changed, bro. Yeah. Like for real, for real. We talking about fourteen years ago. I can barely rub two nickels together. Boy was struggling, fam. Mm -hmm. This whole entire organization. I, but here's the thing, though. I'm not even talking about me. I'm talking about there's a lot of people. If they sit up there at nighttime and they just stare at the ceiling and be like, what did Pete mean to you? Shit. And I was talking, Shit. I was talking to my wife earlier today and she was like, yeah, gee, he... You know, ever since the news, she's like, G hasn't been taking this well. And I was like, nah, he hasn't. He really hasn't. Mm, no, nah, not right. Not, yeah. not right. Now, I mean, hold on. That doesn't mean that I love John Schneider. That doesn't mean I don't love this organization. This organization is forever. That doesn't mean I'm not excited about Mike McDonald. This is just me just 
You ask me, boom, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. What y'all, what people want me to say? Oh, okay, Pete, get out of here. Next. Nah, I can't. I mean, like that. So, detox. Damn, detox. Okay, next question. Junior Isle, who's up, baby? I have a bone to pick with Money Mike. The last two streams I've been behind, 20 to 30 minutes, uh, do the work. It seems like me after it's over, the stream could becomes unavailable. Money Mike, please give us more time to catch up. Love from SoCal. <laughs> well, <laughs> we had some technical difficulties, Junior. <laughs> we had some last we last had... week is last week is back up though, Junior. You can go find it. Yeah, yeah. Last week's back up. Yeah, it's, it's back up. <laughs> Brendan Myers says, "Can't imagine why." <laughs> <laughs> Paulie says, KJ, scheme wise, what did McDonald do with the Ravens that will work with the Seahawks next year? How is this scheme different to Carroll's 4 3 hybrid? Paulie, I want to, one thing that really stuck out to me with McDonald's scheme was their third down scheme. Bro, it was like, how do I explain this? It was like every football junkies, every football fans, if you love X and O's, if you love the details of the game, you can just sit there and watch his third down game plan all day, every day. He has everyone up at the line of scrimmage. You don't know who's blitzing, where they're blitzing from. He runs so many different coverage concepts on the back end to confuse the quarterback. Bro, I'm telling you, go watch his third down concept. Just turn on any game and watch it on like third and eight, third and seven. Quarterbacks could not figure out what he was doing. And so that's what I love mostly about his scheme is how he confuses guys on offense, but yet the Ravens make it look so simple. It's, it's golden, I'm telling you. What's up, Chris? Chris, do you think Pete being in an advisory role with, uh, uh, would have any positive or negative uh, effect on McDonald's? There has to be some weird feelings there. Okay, let's let, let me address this. Let's let's address this and put this to bed once and for all, y'all. Um, there's there's no advisory role. Yeah, there's 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 no advisory role. Um, you know, it's 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 it's, it's move it's moved on time. You know, thank you, appreciate you, but it's it's time to move on. That's that's where we're at. Yeah. Alina says, G, you know KJ don't know about Johnny's. It's from T Town. It's the bomb. Just kidding, KJ. Love you both and the stream. Here's some money for KJ's Dollar Tree microphone. <laughs> Y'all some jerks, man. Y'all some jerks. Hey, let me see if my microphone working now. Alina, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> Alina, you wrong. Wait, KJ, you still there? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Man, hold up. Go back to her question. Go back to that, Mister Producer. Go back to that. <laughs> Alina, you can't go back. Producer can't go back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, hey, producer, producer, you know, hey, producer, show your face right now so the people know exactly who you are. You know, y'all, our producer can come in and out, by the way. Mr. Producer, Money Mike, can you show your face so the people know who they who they deal yeah, with each yeah. and every, every stream? Face. Yeah. Show your face, bro. Bro, don't have me embarrassed right here. I demand you to show your face. <laughs> 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 oh shit! You funny, bro. Oh my god, <laughs> you are funny. Okay, all, all right, right. Next bro. one. Next one. <laughs> uh, Crystal says, "KJ, KJ, yeah. when the refs clearly blow a call and it affects the outcome of the game, how does that affect you personally? And what is the reaction in the locker room? How do you feel about it now as a fan?" 
Dang, give me an example, Crystal. What has happened to me and my uh, us, the Seahawks in our career? Well, the referee has blown a call that affected the game. Well, we've been on some positive sides. We all remember the fail, Mary, terrible call. Um, how does it affect you? Dang, I'm trying to think of an example, G. I played too much ball not to have an example. When the ref clearly mm -hmm. blows a call and it affects the outcome of the game. You know what, though? I'm, I'm going to say this, Crystal. As far as... As far as games, KJ, I really can't think of a game. And maybe you guys that where I'm just like, oh, my gosh, the Seahawks lost this game because of this ref. I'm I'm being serious. I, can't I mean, there's no, nothing compares to that failed Mary. Yeah. I, I can't. Yeah, I the only the one. only calls that I could think of that really caused the game is what we saw last year in the Super Bowl, the pass interference on Bradbury against the receivers. You can't call calls like that. That just leaves you like feeling. I just played uh, 59 minutes for nothing to this one call that, that cost us the game. But I mm. think in my tenure, I don't know if there was a call. Drop it in the chat if I can have a call. No, every, no, everybody's starting to drop in Super Bowl 40. No, we talked about that. Yeah, Super Bowl 40, yeah, that was bad. That was yeah. real bad. We're talking about recently, like in the last 14 years. I, I can't remember one. Uh -uh. Good question, Crystal. Next. Yeah. Richard Bird says, Mike, hey, KJ, you coach for us. We'll get you reliable Wi-Fi and a new mic. You saying yes? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my mic. I don't know what's happening today. I live in the dang mountains. Um, I don't know why y'all roasting do my, live in my the mic. Today. You do live in the mountains. I live in the mountains. Why y'all roasting my mic today? I, it's the same mic I use every week. Look, it's connected just like it is every week. All right, next question. Thanks, thanks, Richard. Moe206 says, KJ's corner on McDonald's scheme. Oh, KJ's corner on McDonald's scheme. That's good. That's good. That's genius. real good. That's genius. genius right there. Yeah. It's happening. It's going down. Uh, Big Patty Daddy. Now, now, Big Patty Daddy, man, we can't be calling you that. Big, come on, Big Patty Daddy. <laughs> KJ, I'll stop. I'll pin your soft ass, but this was a hell of a hire. Go Hawks. Next year, going to have some good streams. <laughs> Big Patty Daddy, let me tell you something right now. Big Patty Daddy looks swole. I don't give a damn how big you are. I don't care how swole you are. You ain't pinning me, homeboy. You, you ain't pinning me. So, KJ, you definitely, these... you, de you definitely couldn't let Big Patty Daddy pin you. Man, he'll have a like, yeah. broke he'll have a broken nose and <laughs> the them two things them two things in between his legs go get squeezed before he pinned me. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Big nobody, Patty Daddy. No Appreciate you. <laughs> Next one. Uh Coca-Cola Bear. KJ, what's your thoughts on the Sherman to uh Twitter drama? Twitter drama. So I heard about this, but I didn't see it. Someone brought it to my attention. You see what Sherm said last night? I say, no, nah, what do you say? And then I went and looked. Didn't he, didn't he delete it? Did you see it, G? Yeah, yeah. I mean. I didn't see it. What was, what was he saying? Here, here's, here's what I love. This is what I love about Sherm. I'm, no, no I'm, I'm being serious. And it's actually what I love about a lot of y'all. Y'all y'all just don't, y'all never change. Y'all didn't get no money and get different. Like KJ, I mean, uh, Sherm didn't get no money. Like Sherm would go back at you, you know? And people be like, why is Sherm going back at him? Cause he got time. He likes doing that. That's how he is in real life. What were he, they saying? He, just going back and forth. Sherm, why do you hate the Seahawks fans so much? I mean, the, the Seahawks organization so much. He's like, I'm, I don't hate the organization. I'm just telling you what happened. I'm telling you what got out of here. You know, well, San Francisco cut you. Well, no, they didn't, right? So he's just telling me, just kind of just talking about how organizations to do to do things. And like, he could easily just ignore you, but instead he just, he comments to you. He like being, it's like being in a barbershop. 
don't know how that go. You just be talking stuff. It ain't personal. So let me ask you this, G, from a fan's perspective, from someone on Twitter, like mm -hmm. when they DM or no, when they message a player and a player responds to them, is that like the highlight of their day or is that just uh, like life? I won. Highlight of their life. Like highlight I won. of their life. Yeah, especially, especially if they say something negative to you and they get you to go back at them with negativity. But sometimes, I mean, here, but here's the bad news. Here's the bad news. If you respond to them and that random person on Twitter gets a good one on you, that's bad. And even if you crush them, you lose. You lose. That's bad. You lose. You lose. So it's a lose lose situation. <laughs> I understand. And, and, and if yeah. here's one thing I want to say, KJ, to all people that got money, this is important. This is important. Never, ever, ever say anything about, well, I got more money than you. Well, I can afford a vacation and you can't. Like, that's not the flex that you think it is. Once you use that, it's a wrap. You get clowned. Because cats be doing that. Oh, I got more money than you. Wait, what? Did you just say, are you just talking about your money, bro? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, get off that. So, anyway. All right. We got next. Tyler says, "What's up, G and KJ? G, love your post on IG and the explanation of him being a new stepdad. If you were to meet him or say, hey, coach, blank, <laughs> would it be Mac or Donald? What players <laughs> should be should he bring?" <laughs> uh, Tyler, that's a good question. Yeah, it is. I yeah, know what you're about to say, but go ahead, G. I mean, you know, how you doing? How you doing, Mike? No, he you, gave you only two options. He gave you Mac or Donald. Man, come on, man. I'm gonna call him. I'm not gonna call. Him. I'm gonna call him by his name. That's disrespect. <laughs> we can't do that. You can't. Come on. You can't. Yeah. Uh, you can't. What's up, Mac? What's up, Coach Mac? Mac. Now we'll say though. Look, man. How can I say this? I'm trying to, without saying it wrong. You know, sometimes, man, there's just certain names like, look, bro, we're going to have to get out of the nickname. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to see people calling him McDonald. It's going to be Mac. It's going to be Coach. something. It's going to be Mike, Coach Mike. MD. MD. You think they'll call it MD? It's not going to be Eminem. No, I'm for, I'm for real, though. You, you know how, bros, we, you know we give you nicknames. Coach Mike. Coach Mike. It's easy. Coach Mike. Who, hey, that was a good question. Uh, that, was that, was a good, that, was, that was a good question. Uh, Base Silly says, KJ, what do you think might change the most about the defense next year compared to the past two seasons? Much love from Texas. This is the easy one, Base Silly. The last two years, we were 30 and stopping the run. Year before? <laughs> yeah, 31. Yeah. yeah, there's only 32 teams in the National Football League. If anything is going to be fixed, that's going to get fixed. And another thing I want to see fixed with this defense is turnovers. Create those game-changing plays. Give the offense more opportunities. That's what I want to see out of this defense. Um, those top two things. Run first, create turnovers second. All right, KJ, listen, man. We got 48 questions left. Damn! <laughs> it's, it's back. It, here we go. Jonathan says, KJ, G, sorry, missed the beginning of the stream. Do you think McDonald makes plays to get salary space and get queen? McDonald won't be making any plays to get salary cap space. That's John Snyder's job. That's he's the general manager. Him and um, what's the other guy in the building name? The money man. What's the money man name? I'm losing my mind right now. Oh, man. Uh, 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 uh. Thomas, Matt Thomas, Matt Thomas. I can't believe Matt Thomas, Matt That's Thomas. John Snyder and Matt Thomas name um, job to get that done. Do I think he'll make a play to get queen? He's going to want somebody familiar. He's going to want somebody familiar that he played with. Queen is going to his fifth year. He's unrestricted free agent. 
He played some some really good football this year. Bring him in to command the huddle. But we got Jordan Brooks. We got Bobby. They both free agents. So Schneider, what you gonna do? He got some choices to make. Miller Moose says, hi, KJ and G. Love the show. Who y'all think the OC about to be? Producer, do me a favor. Can you pull up T. Martin? Just pull up a picture of T. Martin with the Baltimore Ravens. And um, so people can get a visual of who I'm thinking we should have as our next offensive coordinator. So I'm voting T. Martin. He won a national championship at the University of Tennessee. He's been a he's been a quarterback coach for Lamar Jackson for some years. And so, yeah, I think I think he's gonna be the guy that comes in. We're gonna run the football, we're gonna air the ball out. It's gonna be a fun offense to watch. I'm rolling with T Martin. <clears throat> Next one. Uh Froggy says Eric be enemy for OC with uh our receiving core. No. Not being enemy. No, not being enemy. <laughs> Josiah. What's up, Josiah? Uh Jack to see Eminem. But to your point, G, it's more like seeing your mom bring her new man to Christmas Eve and grandma and grandma and grandma and grandpa welcome him with open arms. <laughs> Dang. That's a hard pill to swallow, man. Yeah. Seeing your baby mama with a new dude. Your baby mama, like this was this is your woman. This your chick. You mine. And now you with somebody. Oh God. We got kids together. Oh God. I don't want them problems. I don't want them problems. I don't want them problems. I don't want them problems, G. Then a new man raising your kids. Boy. <laughs> Mm -mm. If, if you want to see, if, he can he can call him he can call him daddy. <laughs> well, I knock my kids out. They got somebody else. <laughs> Man, <sighs> no, G, no, listen, I I can't I cannot function. I can, I don't think I could function as a human being with another man around my kids. I I, I wouldn't be able to function, G. <laughs> No, nah, hell no. No, G. You laughing. You smiling. You think it's funny. No, I don't I don't I don't think it's funny. I think this is real life. I think these are just normal situations. Like these are things that as a society we make a big deal and some of us aren't grown enough for these situations but some of the times these situations happen sometimes, right? Like these are the you know it just happens you know what i'm saying like hey hey man you know <laughs> hey you, hey you pull up and let me tell you something so one of the, my most favorite stories about south center now some folks but y'all might know what i'm talking about but back in the day south center used to be the spot it used to be the parking lot and i promise you I promise you, it was a lot of baby mom, dads and moms meeting together and switching, Stop exchanging the kids. The kids. Oh. Hey, it was this. Hey, hey, oh. it was this one dude that I used to see there. Hey, hey what's up, man? How, you, you good? Yeah, you good. Man, things straight, man. All it's straight, dog. You know what I'm saying? Well, he's right there in the Nordstrom's parking lot was the meetup. Talking. Everybody used to meet right there and he used to switch your rules, right? Hey, man. And then sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You know, old boy show up. You know what I mean? No. He got the, you know, he got the diaper bag. You know what I mean? Like, hey, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 I just want to let you know I changed shorty. You know what I'm saying? Before we got here. Y'all have fun. Man. Gee, I, <laughs> gee, listen. Yeah. I love my family, man. I love my family. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't ever want to be in that position. I don't ever want to be in the position where my, another man raising my kids. I lose my wife. Somebody else with my wife. I'll just next question, please. Let's get off this subject. Get off this damn subject. Hey, 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 when we get off the phone, you better go up there and kiss Nat. Tell her how much you I love her. I am. I am. And she threw me a bone tonight too. She threw me a bone because she What'd had she plans say? tonight. Nat had plans tonight, and I'm mm -hmm. like, babe, um, we just hired a new coach. Can you, you know, can you take the boys with you? 
She mm-hmm. did that for me. She did that for me. Yo. I appreciate her for that. She she took the hey. boys with her tonight. Hey, Nat, Nat low key the MVP around that house, ain't she? Man, she, she a is. pro bowler, huh? All Much pro? love to her. Much love to her. Okay. okay. I got okay. I got something special for her tonight. You know what I mean? Next question. Next question. <laughs> uh the Greg Zillow says, I love Geno Smith, but do you think with a lot of guaranteed money coming up, Mike Mack could uh make a trade for Tyler Huntley? Mistake, or does it make sense to not draft a guy but to trade instead? You seen that gif where it's that black boy with the dreads and he's like in the wind, he's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, that's how I'm seeing Reed's question. What, what is that? Tyler Huntley? Oh. With a capital N. No. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. a mistake. But to draft a guy, yeah, we can draft somebody, but not trade for Tyler Huntley. Stop it. The Snail says, what do you think about Frank Reich for OC? Good coordinator with head coach experience, and McDonald needs someone to bounce ideas off of. So Frank Wright, if y'all know who Frank Wright is, he just got let go this past season by the Carolina Panthers in his mm-hmm. first year, if I'm not mistaken, first, second year. Yeah, they should have um, kept came, him. Came from the Colts. Um, really good offensive mind. I like Frank Wright. A really, really good offensive mind. McDonald needs to surround himself with some vets, though. Real talk. Surround yourself around some veterans, some coaches that's done it before, some coaches without egos to really bring you alone and help get this thing kickstarted off the right way. So I'm not opposed to Frank Wright. I'm here so I won't get fined. Some Hawk fans were looking at Mike's welcoming video the same way Jody was looking at Melvin cooking up the breakfast. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> what, you, what you know about that, man? See, I don't know about that. that was okay, good that was good. That was good. What we got next? Dreams, KJ and G. Who will be the best player on O and D in 2024? Defense. I'm gonna double down on DK once again. I mean, offense. I mean, I'm gonna offense. double down. Offense. I'm gonna double down on DK. On defense, I'm gonna double down on Spoon. Those are the best two players that I saw was on offense and defense this past year. All right. My turn? Yeah. Jackson Smith and Jigbo on offense. Spoon on defense. <clears throat> Jackson Smith that. and Jigbo about to have the coldest offseason out. He coming back nasty. Who we got? What's next? Uh, Christoph says, do you think Mike Kafka – interviews were about OC so listen y'all listen Snyder's so cold this man is so cold G like people was wondering like why is he interviewing so many people why is he doing why is he bringing all these guys in for reasons like this Mike Kafka is the offensive coordinator of the New York Giants right but he don't call plays that Brian Dayball call the plays and so if he comes in and make a lateral move, then what they'll have to do is make him like assistant head coach and offensive coordinator, right? You can't just go from OC to OC. You got to get like a promotion, a title promotion. And mm-hmm. word on the street is Mike Kefka want to get up out of there. Um, he want to get up out of there. That's what I'm hearing from my sources. Mm-hmm. So it's not a cold with it. It's cold with it. Good question. Scott says, if Quinn was hired, it would be more of a soft transition as he is familiar with the culture and the environment. Loud music, welcoming and encouraging vets to uh, visit, etc. Mike McDonald is a total 180. How will players old new handle? Don't hey, you know what? They 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 don't know. They we don't look this day one. And I'll say this about players. I say this about um athletes in general. We have to be used to changes we have to be used to oh this was the game plan versus the rams hey kj scrap what we just did we got to do this and so we're used to adjusting on the fly so these guys this will be a new coach he gonna come in here being a military man he gonna come in here doing all this he gonna come in slowly introduce guys to the new style so they could slowly get used to what uh what he's accustomed to what he wants to bring to us all right uh 
Al says, how important do you think it will be for a younger coach to be able to connect with the younger generation of players? Uh, everything, Al. Everything. If you don't have no connection, that's it. It's that's a wrap. It. Yeah. Next coach, you're going to have to connect. And he was just in college in 2021, G? 2021, he was just in college? 2021. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, Next he, one. He coached. Um, a currency hog, that big, that big D lineman with the braids. Yeah, I, I didn't know who. That, yeah, I didn't know who that was. I saw him. He, he came he and you, hugged. He, out of Michigan. Yeah, he was happy, boy. He saw him. Texas too fresh. Do you think tackling is going to be efficient next year? Also, Super Bowl predictions. Um, uh, Kansas City wins, and we'll see. Kansas yeah. City, Kansas City wins, and tackling is. We'll see. Who, who we go bring in? Who we go bring in to coach? Who we go bring in to to coach it? I think it has to be better. It will be better. Next one. Lita says, I feel like we <laughs> could have an entire segment on G's analogies. Let's call them analogies. Wow. Hey, I appreciate you, Lita. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. Cat Stokes, what's up, girl? How much transition is it for players to learn a new physical mental training program that requires more toughness Ooh. and positive and possible adversities due to new head coach? Cat Stokes, boy, you Kat. be coming with them questions. Cat, I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, that physical training, that physical side, it's gonna be it's gonna be a shock to a lot of guys. They they will not be used to it. They will not be used to. Do you remember? Not Oklahoma drills, but we used to do this drill in college where we line up face to face with a guy and we just collide into each other and you try to push him off the board. We did like crazy mm -hmm. shit like that yep, in college. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like blocking, blocking drills. I don't think we'll see something like that, but goal line period, live. Team run, live. Blitz period, live. And when I say live, I mean you hit them, you take them to the ground. I never did that in my career, mm -hmm. so it's going to be new for well, these guys. Well, back back to Kate's point, back to Cat's point, and then you brought it up earlier. If they hitting in training camp, there's a lot of guys on this team. Like, what is going on? Yeah, and 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 so what that does is that that gets your mental right too. You go. You hear me, G? Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, that that gets your mental right. You out there mm -hmm. hitting, you tired, your body sore. You tro you programming that mind too when it gets down to when we got to face the Dolphins because the Dolphins coming into town this season it's gonna be a track mm -hmm. you're gonna be tired you got to get your mind right and your body right. Mm -hmm. Next one, mm -hmm. good job, Cat. Uh, Jabalard, Jableard. I don't know how to pronounce that. Do you think John Schneider wanted McDonald from the beginning? It seemed like the process moved so fast after Baltimore lost the AFC Championship game. John Snyder was willing to wait until the Super Bowl to get this guy. And he he was doing all these interviews, you know, hey, we like you. Hey, you know, thank you for coming in. But he had his good eye in Baltimore, Maryland, waiting mm -hmm. to see what was happening with him. And so right. he played, guys, we played the Ravens this year. Do y'all not remember that score? We had like six first downs versus the Ravens. One rushing first downs. Three points. Yeah, we had three points versus the Ravens. Yeah. So you don't think John Snyder was like, who, who, who kicking my ass over there? Oh, Mike McDonald. Oh, let me, let me do my homework. Let me watch him the rest of the season. Man, hold on real quick. Did you say, did you say Mike McDonald ain't got no kids? I don't think he has children. I think he got a dog. Ah. I think he got the dog. Wow. Okay. Peter says, uh, what's up, guys? Man, KJ, what will it take for you to be a defensive coordinator? I'm very optimistic and excited for the next upcoming seasons with McDonald. Yeah, y'all think I can just leave my podcast, leave my couch, and go call plays? I ain't got no plays to call. Good, good one, Peter. One day, one day though. Next one. one. Day. Britt Diggs, I want to be a fly on the wall in a room when Mike McDonald watches tape of Spoon, a dog who Mike McDonald can count on. Hey, Amen. 
I, I think I don't even think it really takes a good uh, it don't you don't even have to know anything yeah, about know. football that's yeah, the thing know. about spoon man spoon it, uh, everybody see it with spoon everybody good lord good good one Brett good one next Michael Austin hey guys how you doing uh what a good hire but I have a question KJ if you ask if he asked you to coach how would Bobby feel about you coaching him <laughs> I'm going to get some water so <laughs> so Bobby when we all when we played together he's like KJ you know you're my coach right I said bro I'm not your coach you have a coach. This is when Coach Doran left. He's like, you my new coach. I'm listening to whatever you tell me. I said, dog, you got a coach, and I ain't your coach. And I kid you not, me and Bobby, Bobby and I talked the, um, it's like two weeks ago. He was like, bro, when you do decide to coach, I'm going to be retired. And I said, maybe, maybe, maybe not. And so um, Bobby, if I, if I did coach Bobby, I know him so well, and he know me so well. And I'm just scared that our relationship not going to be ruined, but I just know that I'm going to say something and he going to say something and I'm going to say something back and he going to say something back. And it's going to be like that type of relationship a little bit. But um, me coaching Bobby, that will be some, that will be something crazy though, wouldn't it, G? Me coaching it would be Bobby. Crazy. Me coaching crazy. Bobby. Man, that'd be crazy. Good but question. I just, I, Malik, just, I just know, I just know Bobby gonna push back anything I say. He gonna he go have something to say. Oh, he he gonna say something, and I'm gonna say something right back to him. Yeah, and we gonna be two dudes Malik, saying stuff to each other. They ain't got nothing to do with football at the end of the day. Good question though. Malik Malik game Malik one gamer says, would y'all be opposed to trading for Justin Fields? All right, so. We got to look at this trade from both sides, okay? All right? The um, Chicago Bears, they have who? <clears throat> they got the number one pick. What pick do the Bears have? Is it the number one pick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the question is, do they believe in Caleb Williams? That's his name, right? Do they believe that he can be the guy? You believe in Caleb Williams? I honestly don't. I, I I don't either. I, I, I honestly I, I, don't. I, I, I really don't. I mm -mm. really do not believe in him. Nope. And so I think the, the, the Bears' safest bet is to take uh, Marvin Harrison. So, therefore, Justin Fields, you stand. I'm going to give you one last run. I'm going to give, give you one last chance. Because other Caleb Williams go come. We're not going to act like other Caleb Williams not going to come. So... I don't think Justin Fields. I don't think we can get Justin Fields because I don't think that the Bears think that Caleb is the guy. But if they are open to it, Justin Fields, the sky's the limit for his career. Pi Young G says, "What kind of offensive play style should we run? Pull up to uh, CG anytime. What's CG? What's CG at? Hmm. Coral Gables. Pull, pull up to CG." Um, what kind Young of offense? G, where is that? What kind of offensive play style should we run? I don't care what we run. Just yeah, put up I don't, points. I, just I don't put up points. I don't care. I really don't care. I I don't care. Uh, Orion LLC says, um, "Who should we draft with the sixteenth pick? A center or a guard? Yeah. Give me a center or give me a guard." Good one. Next question. Uh, Maddie, Maddie Wu says, Baltimore had Lamar. Do you think that Justin Fields could be a real option? He is younger and mobile, also Ooh. has a decent skill set. Could be deadly. Okay, now I see where people are going with this. Now, now I see them connecting the dots. Okay, now I see why y'all talking Justin Fields, Lamar Jackson, T. Martin style of offense, somebody that could be mobile. I get it now. I get it. Mike McDonald, when he brings in his play caller, when he brings in his OC, what do you want to, this offense to look like? Do you want to look like a quarterback getting out on the pocket? Do you want to add some zone read elements, some RPO type of stuff? And they got to get there on the drawing board and see, okay, John Snyder, this is what I want. This is how I feel like we can be successful. 
Go out there and make it happen for me. Just, just so you guys know, five days after the Super Bowl, there's $12 million that comes due guaranteed for Geno Smith. So whatever decision is going to have to be made, it's going to be made five days after the draft. I mean, at excuse Super me, Bowl. after the Super, at Super Bowl. So just want you guys to know that. Dakota Billing says, crazy fact, Bobby Wagner is two years younger than our new head coach. Damn. I, re I remember Damn. when um, I remember when Andrew Whitworth was older than Sean McVay, if I'm not mistaken, or right at the same age as him. As him. Two years younger. He was more than, um, what, 80, 80, 87? 87? Mm-hmm. Alita Dahl says, thank you for your shout out to Norb Cam. It really made his day. You guys rock. Right now, I am so happy that Hawks finally made a thoughtful decision for coach. You know what? You know why I'm happy? I'm happy because all the Seahawks country happy. Seriously. It's what Seriously. everybody wanted. Seriously. Everybody in the city is happy right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ain't no complaints. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what? As a fan, we needed this win today. Yep. We we needed today. It's it's been rough for you. It's been rough for us. You know what I'm saying? It was good. Next one. Uh Caesar says, I know KJ was crying and punching that air when we didn't get DQ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get your mind right Saturday night. Yeah. Let's go. Poppy Tulo says, yo, G, I know we're all excited about the Mike McDonald hire, but are you surprised we didn't give another guy, give other guys a chance, such as Mike, uh, Mike Oxford from San Francisco? Nah. Poppy, man, look, I think John Schneider, and I don't know this, I haven't talked to John, this is an opinion. I think what you said the other day or, or earlier today, I think when they beat the Seahawks down and the Seahawks scored three points, I think John Snyder just wrote it down and said, one day, right? One day. Who is Mike Oxhart from San Fran? Who is that? I, I, maybe it. Yeah, who 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 is that? Real quick though, KJ. You know, this ain't all mm -hmm. about football. Um, so I would assume that they saw Mike McDonald when they were still in the relationship with Pete. Right? They knew who he was. Let me ask you this. Is it fair game if someone meets somebody, like the you in a relationship, and you see somebody and you're like, no, nah, no, nah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in a relationship. I can't, I can't. And then when you break up, did you go and see that person? Get you oh, get with you him. Get is that cool? Is that is that fair or is that out of bounds? It's fair. It's fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Because mm -hmm. once once you once you break up, it's free game. It's ain't no more rules. There's no more rules. Our producer just texted saying he think this was a joke. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but, hey, look. If y'all can look at my eyes right now, y'all could tell like I ain't got time to be playing. I'm like, hey, hey, I'm, I think we, I think we got got on the uh, coach from San Francisco. <laughs> look, G, I Google. Look, look, I just Google. What Mike Oxhard, this what popped up. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Mike Oxhard. I'm like, who the fuck is Mike Oxhard? This what popped up. <laughs> yeah, I've been up, man. Let me tell you how long I've been up today. Because you, you worked out early. How you know? Yeah. Oh, I you told, told you. Yeah, I woke up at you five this like morning. I, you like I ain't been up late. 
I've been up late too. You've been up early. Yeah, I've been up early. All right, next one. But you kind of got me with that, man. I, I kind of think that's not I, cool. That's not I don't even cool. I don't even get it though. Why would he even come out of nowhere with a joke about a person's name? Oh, I wasn't ready for that either. What did it even come from? And you really answered the question like <laughs> King Xavier says, I always appreciate you, Wag, Sherm, Bam, Bam, E.T., Black Elvis, and list goes on. Y'all legends, does pressure now go on Mike McDonald to nail the draft? Yes. No, no it doesn't. No, no not the doesn't. draft. No, that's no. on John. That's on this John. is the beauty of 2024. Yeah. Yeah. There's no question who's pulling, who's making the decisions. Mm -hmm. There's no question. John Snyder is the guy. I, hey, I see. I don't see how you look. I don't see how you look at this chat and do this stream. I ain't no way I can look at this chat. Listen, well, I need to, but man, I'm really mad at that dude getting us with the coach from the 49ers, man. We weren't ready for that, bro. That was so <laughs> random. Man. Who asked that? Go block him, please. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Dakota Billings. There are two different types of mics in the wow. world. Wow. Mike McDonald, who is a dog, and KJ's mic, which is ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to roast your ass real quick. Them weak ass <laughs> tattoos you got on. <laughs> Who takes the bathroom pick like this? He said, he said, he said, he said. Hey, look at me. Who you sent that picture to? I know you ain't getting no tail that night. Send whoever you sent that to. Hey, I don't care what you say, dog. That the God. Boy, you ain't got no. Boy, you, who, who you, who you pull with that picture with that weak selfie you just took in that bathroom? Uh, who takes a who takes a selfie <laughs> in a bathroom? <laughs> and actually use it as a profile picture. Oh God. Dakota Billings. Love you too. Oh, my stomach hurt right now, man. <laughs> Britt Diggs says, where do you see Mike McDaniels uh McDonald, sorry, Mike McDonald's uh six year deal in light of Jody Allen's impending sale of the team? I'm sure it was addressed at McDonald's hiring. Time out. Time out. Uh I, I have, I've had zero vibes of anything being sold over there at the Virginia Mason Athletic Center. So, I'm, and, and, I, and I'm telling you, so I don't know who anybody heard this, heard, no, I don't got no vibes of that. Why are we acting like selling a team has anything to do with anything? Like, she's selling the team. If, if, if she's selling the team, what's going to change? Ownership, obviously, but bro. Hey, 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 hey KJ. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Yeah, KJ. Time out now. Different owners. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, okay. Next we one. In a, we could bring in a buddy from the Panthers. Oh, we got a yeah. new owner throwing drinks on people. Throwing drinks on people, yeah. We can bring in Jerry Jones. Spencer Gray says, KJ, thoughts on QB? Roll with Geno or draft one? In the words of G. Scott, can two things be true at the same time? I think we're going to do both of them. We're going to do both of them. Roll with Geno, draft a quarterback. Next one. <clears throat> I'd rather be flying says, I had names I liked, same as everyone else, but ultimately, in John Schneider, we trust. Also, G. Why are you allergic to my full name? What's this? No, because I don't be saying this. I'd rather be flying. Oh, an uh. X wing. <laughs> my bad. I'd rather be flying an X wing. Come on, G. G. Did people yeah. always call you G since you was a kid? Yeah, I always been G. Mm -hmm. What's your middle name? Man, come on. I'd rather show you my feet. All right, next question. Uh, uh, Jayanth says, love that loyalty, G. You a real one. Hey, man, thank you. That's that, that was about that Pete stuff. Appreciate you. Kevin Williams says, KJ, I hope next NFL season's game in, in Brazil but be I a Hawks game. 
Can't wait to join the Twelves in the stadium. Are they having a game in Brazil next year? I didn't know they were supposed to be in Brazil. Man, I went to Brazil in 2014. It was me, Mike Morgan, Malcolm Smith. We had a good time. We went to the World Cup. Went to Rio, Sao Paulo. We saw Cristiano Ronaldo play. Um, United States. It's a really, really good time. They, They eat nothing but steak out there. Beautiful country. It has a different side to it. I saw somebody get robbed out there. Um, yeah, it was, it was wild. Dif- different world out there. Different world. Next one. <clears throat> Z-Man says, have y'all talked to Coach Carroll? How's he doing? I saw Coach like two weeks ago. And, you know, it's... Who did I ask? I, you know, I asked somebody like, man, what does the day-to-day look like now? Like, when you wake up, like... Like, what do you do? What do you look forward to? Like, your brain has been operated, operating on a clock. Your brain's been operating on a clock. So when you wake up this morning, I'm going to go to work. Let me go to work and uh, watch some film and call call Johnny. Like, I don't get to do any of that anymore. And so, um, you know, it's going to take some time. It's hard. It's hard losing a job. It's hard getting let go. So, it's, Good thing is that his son is coaching at UW, so he gets to, you know get to be around football, be around the guys, and so that's a real big positive. Uh, Ramadeep says, "Call me Ram. What you what you want to see from this team next year? Ram or Ram? Uh, what you want to see? Ramadeep. Uh, I'm gonna say Ram. Ram. I'm gonna call you Ram. Ram. I see. Is it Ram? As in?" L.A. Rams, just say yes. I'm I'm, I'm watching you. Or ramen, or ramen uh, noodles. Shit, what we want to see from this team? How <laughs> about, bro? What? what the hell was that? What, what I was said? that in the background? What was that in the background, bro? What? What was in the background? I heard something in the background. <laughs> from that? me? Did you move that chair or did you fart? Oh, it's right here. Oh. Farting is a natural thing. What are you talking about? See, see, here's my thing. Time out, time out, time out. Why is it why is it that people are ashamed to do the number two in public? I got a problem with that. Some people will wait till they get home to do the number two versus going in public. Bro, it's a natural thing that everybody does. What's the big deal? You think they go judge you? Oh, he just took a dump. No, 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 no. K- KJ. But they dump K- every day. KJ, I have a I have a public bathroom phobia. I can't go to the bathroom not outside of the home. I'm I'm being serious. So you can go inside of any bathroom, KJ. You can go. In a, can you go in a honey bucket? What is a honey bucket? You know, you go to concerts and stuff. You see the little oh porta potty, porta potty. Yeah. Oh, I could pee in it. I I ain't doing the number two in there. You can't pee in them. No, no, I can't. Go, I can't go in them. I can't go in them. I can't go. I I don't like to go on planes. Sometimes I I mean, there's been times I have to, but I don't like to go in public. Now, now upstairs. Now I will tell you, at my job, I don't even get it. That anyway, I don't. I don't like to go. You, you just, you just go anywhere. You, just, you go, you go to McDonald's. You go to gas station bathrooms. You can go in there too. Yes. KJ, you nasty, bro. You can go anywhere, man. That's just nasty. I can't do that. I, I gotta be it's home. Un- I guess everything gotta be clockwork. It's unhealthy to keep it in. What are you scared of? What are you what are you scared of? Somebody looking at you and seeing you? No, I'm not scared of anybody else. I get I get I get grossed out. I can't be in a public bathroom. <laughs> For real, dog. Like I, I can't I can't believe you just go. You just go to the gas station. You mean to tell me you go and you ask Bubba for that key? Hey, can I get the key? And he's like, here you go. And he's got the he's got the long stick on it, and you go into the back. 
and you go, you pick the key in, and you just go in that bathroom like it's nothing? I take the toilet paper, I lay it down, one, two, three on the third row. I'm in there for three minutes and I'm out. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> hey, producer, producer, ask this on a poll. Can you go anywhere, uh, public bathrooms? Put a poll out there. There's no way. I cannot be the man, minority. Y'all folks, folks from the West Coast funny, man. Y'all are funny, bro. If I said just Hubbard, I'm looking at the chat now. Hey, wait. Why did JJ, JJ just texted and said, no gallbladder, no choice. <laughs> I'm not, I can't laugh, but it was funny. Well, somebody said they had to dig holes in the desert. Oh, man. All right, back to football. Back to football. Somebody getting mad. Uh, Dune, Dune Moose getting mad. All right, come on. Yeah, I know well, this my, all day, man. This all day. We did this. This the show. This is what we do. Man, my eyes. Man, you see my eyes right now. Mine too. You How many it? questions we got? Uh, twenty nine. Let's go. Uh, Poncho Poncho says my boy got that big lots of money. <laughs> Are <laughs> you so funny? <laughs> Cole says best quarterback for our scheme is the GOAT, Mark Ch Sanchez. Y'all got jokes tonight. Y'all got, got jokes tonight. <laughs> Big Daddy Patty says, KJ, I'll be in South Seattle this summer to watch these mid Mariners. Folk style wrestling, one on one, loser oils up on. <laughs> Big Patty, Big what? Patty Daddy. Let me tell you Big something. Big Patty said the loser oils up. Big Patty Daddy, what are you? Big Patty Daddy, let me tell you something, bro. I will beat your ass. You keep you keep playing around. I will whoop your ass, bro. Keep playing around with me. I beat the manners game too. He joking like I don't know. Some people joke about calling people soft and like beating like you know how the guys like hey I'll, I'll beat you up, bro, huh? Bro, I don't. Bro, I get you know, I, I I was in combat for a living. I was in combat for a living. So, bro, anything, yeah. any people talking about being aggressive, don't let this retirement yeah. fool you, bro. Don't let this green bro. jacket fool you, bro. All I know is I'll just take the baby oil and squirt y'all <laughs> and big daddy daddy uh -huh. rub me down. Y'all gonna wrestle? Nah, bro, because because folks folks <laughs> no, think bro. like no 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 hold that no they do no they for real they do think that about football players like people forget that y'all there's only fifteen hundred of y'all in the world people forget that like I, I know y'all think football players oh he dog these are some violent people y'all like for real <laughs> they might be nice KJ look all smiley and stuff like these dudes is violent for real like some people they go to the weight room oh, I'm strong like Big Patty I'm doing my triceps my biceps no bro like when I grab you when I tussle you when I like go to this new mode dog I'm telling you I'm telling you stop playing with me Big Patty Patty I'm telling you that's your last strike <laughs> Uh, Matty Wolf says, uh, the Ravens had Lamar. Should we pair Fields with McDonald? I bet the price is right. Hey, man. Hey, go. Hey, what's that old saying? Uh, go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. Pause. Next one. How's that a pause, G? How's that a pause? Oh, you, I, I, no, I was talking about, I was trying to pause my, the, uh, the computer. Oh, the computer. Uh, get back. Fifty four says, "How can you not be excited about this? Our defense has been half ass mediocre for years. I don't see us being swept by division rivals ever again." Love y'all, G and Ken Dog. Ken Dog. Okay, that's new. Ken Dog. That's something new. Um, getting swept. No, G. We didn't get swept by one opponent. We got swept by two opponents. So um no our defense gotta tighten up. Our defense has gotta tighten up. Um how far are we do we do do we move closer to the to the San Francisco 49ers with this higher G? Do, do we get are we are we pushing towards that direction? 
I mean, I think we, we, be- we I think we better than the Rams. I, we better than the Los Angeles Rams. But the question is, how far are we from the Niners? I mean, we. I mean, this this day one, y'all. You know what I mean? We ain't even we ain't even showed that you know where the um, where the medicine closet is, where the pantry is, where he get the washcloth and all that yeah. stuff is. You know what I mean? Next question. Hey, hey, but this what's today? Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need to see some hires by Friday. Give me some hires by Friday. It won't take long. Mm-hmm. And I know they ask him in their interviews who you want to bring in as your as your play callers. Bring them in. Right. Right. Uh, McKenzie says, KJ, if a fan is coming all the way from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, what are some Seahawk places we should hit up while we're there? Best chance of meeting an old LOB member. First of all, first stop is Legion in Bellevue. That's your first stop. I mean, Legion that, Sports ma- Bar. Matter of fact, that's your first, second, and third spot. You go the, there the- guaranteed. The chances of you mean the LOB member is about a 95% chance. Yeah. Yeah. About 95%. Yeah. Or 31% chance, if you know what I mean. Fresh Vision says, keep it a keep it a stack, KJ. Did Russell make the call in the Super Bowl and Pete took the heat? Let's keep it real, KJ. No BS. Pete made that call. Pete made that call. He said, throw the ball. And if Pete had a chance to do it all over again, um, he said he he mentioned that I made the right call. I would do it all over again. And so, ever since Russ made that throw, man, shit ain't been the same. Ever since Bet Malcolm Butler did that, man, ain't been the same, man. It ain't been the same. KK Taylor says. KK Taylor says. All right, Mac. Who's going to be, Matt, all right, Matt, who's going to be the OC? We need a premier OC, Spokane, Washington. Spokane. I'm coming out there soon. I'll be out there soon. Um, the OC. Y'all keep asking me this question. Money Mike, did you find the picture, Mr. Producer? Did you find a, produ- a picture? It ain't that hard. T-E-E. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Here's T. Martin. There he goes. So, I got him being the OC. T. Martin, quarterbacks coach for the Ravens, Mm -hmm. national champion, former quarterback, football mind, or Mike Kafka with the um, the Giants. Kelly Potter says, gee, I tagged you on Twitter going to Legion and I met Cam in the food. Yes, you did. I saw that, Kelly. Next one. Jose says, how do you think Mac will do with Pete as an advisor? Good, bad, or will it even happen? It's not happening. I mean, look, you don't. This is this is Mike's show now. This is his show. He is the head coach starting today and beyond. The first of the month is tomorrow. Um, matter of fact, a lot of times you ain't got to pay your rent to the fifth. Uh KJ, back in the day when you rented, did you pay your rent on the first or the fifth? Fifth. Pay about the fifth. About the fifth. You know what I'm saying? But uh no, nah, this is this is his is his spot. It's his spot. Next one. Alina Doll says, KJ and G, it would be awesome if you guys could be a guest on Norb Cam's channel. Thank you for all your laughs, knowledge, and great insights. Best of all, thank you for great smiles. Hey, thank you, Alina. And you know what, man? And Lord- I and I do I do hope when y'all do come to this uh, pod on, on, on real stuff, I hope that you guys get a lot of information. KJ does a lot of teaching, right? I hope we, you know, I have fun together as a family because I like, I think it feels like a family we're together. But more importantly, we gotta, you got to laugh. And that's what life's about. You got to laugh more in life, period. So that's why we ain't just all football. Sometimes you just got to laugh, y'all. Alex Newman, KJ, do you think Jimmy Graham could make it to the NBA? I know y'all are hooping at practice. What kind of cat is that? I know you like cats, G. What kind of cat is that? I don't know. Some Garfield-looking cat. <laughs> I don't know. I love cats. I'm terrified of cats. 
love but Jimmy Graham, no, Jimmy Graham is thirty. Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy younger than me. Is Jimmy younger than me? Jimmy Graham too old. No, he ain't going to the NBA. He could have made it. Yeah. The first last. Do you think Gino is the answer? If so, for how long? I think, uh, I think Gino is the answer right now. Right now. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How long? Look here, baby. As long as I can, you know. Sometimes you might not be the answer in your own house. Sometimes you on thin. Sometimes you on thin ice. You know, you just do the best you can, and you know, do better tomorrow. Back to back Pro Bowls. Back to back Pro Bowls. New offensive coordinator. Hey, Gino got some dudes paid too. Dave Canales, Shane Waldron. Come on now. Uh, KJ, you know, Coach KJ, Kerry Joseph, the quarterback's coach. Mm -hmm. His quarterback coach. Yep. Buddha Buddha TT boy. Great show, guys. It's a good day for the Hawks. Yes, it is. Yes, it See. is. Oh, yes, a really good day. It's an exciting day. You feel the energy in the city, G? Yeah, you felt that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You felt that? Yeah. Miller Muse says, yo, KJ, you ever hit up Richard Rodgers after that Packers game? You, you got ejected? <laughs> no, I haven't. But I saw Richard Rodgers when we played the Washington Commanders. He's so sorry. Y'all remember when the Commanders threw a Hail Mary and Richard Rodgers caught the Hail Mary on me? I'm like, bro, you're so trash. Like, you make a living off of making, like, bum plays. Like, your claim to fame is getting me ejected out the game. Like, I really don't like I don't like him. He's the only person in the NFL that I do not like. When I see him, bro, like, you just. If you sorry, then be sorry. But you can't be sorry and be talking shit. If you sorry, you, you just trash. But don't be both of them. A shit talker and sorry. That's my problem with, with, with uh, Richard <laughs> Rodgers. KJ, that was good. That was well said right saying. there. Next one. Next one. Chris says, no, they pro no, no, they pro gonna No, they probably. Oh, no, they probably gonna grab a Ravens guy like Orr or Wilson for DC. But what about Marquan from the Jets? Seattle history here too. Oh, how Marquand you know about Marquan? You, know you know about, about Marquan. Mar um, that that's a new name to me. I ain't see that one coming. But Mark Warren, good ass coach, G. Good coach. He was part of that Legion of Boom creation as well. Mm -hmm. Him and Chris Richard. I like Mark Warren Manuel. Mm -hmm. OG Bunches says, will the OG still be welcomed at practice with the new head coach? Don't know yet. Don't oh, yeah, they, they they invited guys to come meet them tomorrow. They invited guys to come meet them tomorrow. Oh, I know. You going to press conference? I can't make it tomorrow. Who you think going? Oh, geez. Cliff. <laughs> I can see Cliff going. Sherm, nah. 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 Doug, nah. Nah. Jermaine, nah. Mm. I can see B Walk going. B Walk. Sid. <laughs> Sid going for sure. Dossier, yeah. hey, dossier wine. Sydney Rice. Dossier, yeah. Get some of that dossier. Mm -hmm. Cam. Cam, you think Cam will go? No. Nah. They should host Coach McDaniel at Legion. You know. No. That that'd be dope. That'd be dope. Yeah. Anyway. All right, next one. next one. Uh KJ Josiah says, KJ and G. How about it? How about a shout out to wifey Christina for popping out baby number five? Named our baby Gigi Gianna. R.I.P. Mamba. Her wow. and the kids are always chilling closer by while I'm dropping in with y'all. Wow. Hey, Congratulations. Hey, Christina. Hey, congrats. I want you to know, baby number five, 
You amazing. are the real MVP of that yes, household. You are. you are the queen of that castle. You are the matriarch forever. You know what I mean? Five kids. You are love. Gigi, Man. congrats on that for real. Man, you know what I told my wife, Jing? What's that? Congrats, first of all, to y'all. Beautiful, beautiful. I was telling my wife, I said, babe, let's have more kids. Let's, let's, let's have more kids. Can you imagine 20 years from now, Thanksgiving, Christmas, grandkids around, uh, your kids here, one big, we were tired. You, can you see how beautiful that is? But she want to stop. Said. She want to live her best life. She want to travel. She, she, she want to uh, get her groove back. So what's up? Like, we got a whole hey, life dude. to get your groove back. Y'all got y'all got three kids, and your youngest one is Calais. <laughs> are <laughs> are you are you ready for? Would Nat really be? Would y'all really be ready for another child? Like to be able to like you give all your attention to the new baby. You know Calais ain't playing that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. We go, oh, can we have the the V word conversation on here? The the version? No. For men. Oh. You going to do it? Man, no, I ain't doing that. <laughs> oh, hey, what you think hey, this is? Hey, oh, man, I'm about to tell you, man. What are you going to do it? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not me. I said maybe when I'm 50. But shoot, I'm still I'm still in my prime. It's like yeah. neutering a dog. I mean you could say that. You could tell it. He's talking about vasectomy, guys. Some of it's what, what they thinking of? Well, you know, they I mean, you don't want people to start guessing. So uh Jamez 84 like, says are we KJ the talking? only <laughs> are, are, are we the only team in our division with defensive minded coach let get let's get offensive coordinator from dolphins how about we get Wes Wes Welker from the dolphins Wes Welker is a wide receiver coach former Super Bowl champion I would love to see that mm -hmm. it's I mean that's plenty of guys out there Northwest Tuning Technologies. Are we going to have another massive turnover like we did in 2010 so we can find some players that are ready to play hard, D, hard hitting D like Coach Mack wants? No, I don't think we're going to. I don't think we'll see uh, nah, that again. That many transitions. It won't be that many transitions. There's going to be some, though. You better believe there's going to be some. Bl Gee, how, many, how, many, how many questions we got? 16. Blaze says, Blaze says, I had a vasectomy, but never told my wife. We had a kid five years ago. Well, hey, man, I ain't get it. Yeah. Blaze said your, he. Why don't you tell your wife? Blaze, don't be getting us in trouble on this pod. On this pod. Does, you know, does, she, go, does, she, does she know now? I got a vasectomy and then tell my wife. I ain't never heard of that before, Blaze. What that, the that's heck that's a doing? new one. That's a new yeah. one. Mohammed Khalif says, What's up, guys? I'm late to the party. Do you think Mac McDonald's familiarity with the college landscape will help JS draft? Kinda. Kinda. Cause he's only he 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 was in he was spent a lot of time in the pros. Year. He only spent the time in a year. So, yeah, not not like not like the way Pete was familiar. Pete came in the game and was like, "Oh, I know this guy. I know this guy. I know this guy. Oh, uh, I played against this guy when he was at Oregon State. He's in the Canadian Football I League. I recruited go this get, guy. Go get Brandon Brown and let's. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Next one." Charles Mason says, KJ, real talk. Have you really fractured relations? Have you really fractured relationship with your boys from doing this podcast? I don't think you get enough props for keeping it 100. Um, so when I told y'all earlier today, I ran into Nico 
Nico Thorpe. And me and Nico, we talked about stuff that I said. But um, yeah, yeah, it, things got, got broken up. Guys would be watching it in the locker room. Guys would be watching clips of what I said in the locker room. When I got upset with DK and the penalties, when I got upset with Cigar Gate, um, guys would be watching it and word getting around like, Hey man, you know, KJ, he cool over there, but right now he he an outsider. He an outcast. He an op right now. So it's all good. Has he has anybody blocked you yet? I don't know. I, I haven't looked. You got blocked though. So sure did. Dang. How you but my thing is, how you get blocked? How you get blocked and wasn't even following him in the first place? That's the crazy part. They weren't even following each other. Somebody just, you just walking down the street, minding your own business. Hey, I ain't never talking to you again. We never talked in the first place. Gee, you called him Salisbury State. You called him Salisbury Next. State. Off topic question. KJ, did you have a favorite uniform color combo that the team would wear? How did you like the throwback uniforms this year? The green on blues was my favorite. The green on blues was cold. I like, I like the green on blues. The wolf grays was fire. The all whites, heck no, I hate the all whites. I hate the white top blue pants, hate that. That's an ugly look. Love the wolf grays. Wolf grays, yep, yep. And the green on blue. Um, oh, they had like the throwback uniforms. I think the throwback uniforms should be the full time uniforms. Some things is clean. Mm. I think it's clean. Just, just Ed. What's up, Just Ed? I hope McDonald sees how bad Adams is and releases him first thing when he goes into office. And G, quit giving out numbers. Alpha, LOL. Shout out to both of you guys, though. <laughs> Appreciate. Hey, it. just, just Ed. He be every time Just Ed come in here. He be. He I be like having, Just Ed. I like yeah. Just Ed too, but he's not shy with his words. No. He's not shy with his words. But no, real deal. Most of the people that watch this show that that be common ain't shy with their words. Dang. This is the only hey, and the crazy part. This is the only. Can y'all name another pod that you can just say reckless, crazy stuff to the host and they laugh at it? No, nah, everybody can say reckless stuff to me, but um, <laughs> uh, the Big Patty Daddy, he, yeah, he he be trying me. Everybody else cool, I laugh it off, but Big Patty Daddy really be pissing me off though. <laughs> and you know, G, you know what's gonna happen, G? I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. One day I'm gonna run into Big Patty Daddy, and he gonna really try to grab me. He gonna really try to grab me. And I may I'm mess around to be in jail. I'm gonna mess around and really be in jail. Cause he gonna think it's funny. He gonna think like, hey, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to. Nah, bro. What if he, what if he don't want to? What if he don't want to grab you? What if he just give you the baby oil? <laughs> just I'm gonna slap this shit out of his hand. I'm gonna slap it out of his hands. I'm not playing. <laughs> you can't bust his feet. Next question. <laughs> Existential uh, exotic kennel says, say it with the chest, KJ. Come on, man. We can't do that. No. Silly, exotic bro. kennel. No. Are Next are silly. one. Are Rom. Silly. Ram says, you skipped my last question about what you want to see from this team this year. And, G, what is your most memorable, inspirational speaker moment? What I want to see from us this year, I want to see us beat the Niners. That, that would be a big plus for me because they've been serving us the past few years. And um, playoffs, I think we're good enough to make the playoffs. Playoffs. Beat the Niners and make the playoffs. That's what I want to see. I think my most inspirational speaker moment was one that I did 2015 is I did a Father's Day symposium. Uh, Doug was a part of it. Uh, Doug's father, my father. And anyways, um, my father got a chance to see me speak. And it was the first time he ever got to see that. And that was pretty, mm -hmm. that was pretty good. Next one. Oh, man, my stomach hurts from laughing. Jason says, have y'all seen Michael Pratt from Tulane? Could be a steal in the draft. Great mechanics. I'm not going to lie. I have not. 
Maybe he making up another name. Maybe it's like another Oxnard joke. Cole, Cole let me, says... Let me Google fit, Michael Pratt. Oh, what's his name? Michael Pratt? Yeah. Cole says Fitzpatrick over Gino. Come on, Ryan Cole. Fitzpatrick? So, Cole, you low-key look like a little quarterback yourself. But stop getting disrespectful with Gino. Uh, little Milk. Come on, Little Milk? Why you look sad, KJ? I got you on a foot rub. I got you on a foot rub, fam. Why I look sad? Why you looking like how you looking? Look at your <laughs> look at your picture. I ain't looking sad. I would really look sad to look like that. <laughs> All right, next one. Jamea says, "Hey, Queen is a free agent next season. Let's haul him in." Hold up, bro. Let me Google this person, Michael Pratt from Tulane. Uh. I don't know. I don't know if he'll get in quarterback. there. He'll he'll, he'll oh, okay. Hey, Jamez, I don't know about Queen uh, getting here next year. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. We don't know what their plans are. So, next one. <clears throat> Finn Wirtz says, what do you think about drafting Penix? I don't think Penix goes first round, y'all. So, I think Penix will probably be around. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking Penix is going to go second, third round. In this draft. What, what will he run in his 40? Michael Penix. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If they, I don't know if they'll have him run it. I don't think they'll have him run it. I don't think. I don't even it, think he should really test. He should do, do the quarterback thing. He don't need to do none of that other stuff. Don't do no 40s, bench press. No. Broad jump. And by the way, man, I thought that was just weird energy when they had Michael Penix put his hand up. And they had they wanted to show how he had 10-inch hands or whatever they just want they just did that recently i just thought man that was just stop it come on y'all let's stop it but no let me rick tell you says about, go oh, ahead real quick, we got uh, coach carroll coach carroll was coach carroll was a hands guy coach carroll he? he he really paid attention to the size of guys hands so i don't know what they gotta do with quarterbacks but i mean i guess they got a lot to do with quarterbacks but Anyway, that's Rick Zapata cool. says, KJ, we should be improving our O line. Yes, yes, First yes. First round, give me a center, give me yeah. a guard. Yeah. Brett, I know they do it with all QBs, but I just don't want you taking pictures of his hand and just like, ooh, look how big his hand is. Come on, it's just weird. Who posted Joe that? says, no, they did all the, because they were at the East, the East West Shrine. Oh, the, oh yeah, the, the Shrine role? game, the Reese oh. Senior Bowl, yep, down in Mobile. Joe says, KJ, according to draft experts, speculation that Michael Penix Jr. may fall to the third round and be there for the Hawks. If so, should they draft him? But, y'all, it depends on who we bring in as the OC. If we bring in somebody from the Raven Street, I'm sure they go want a quarterback that can be mobile. I'm sure they want a quarterback that can run some. So let's we go get to the draft. Let's find out who our offensive coordinator is first, and then we'll see if he fits the style of play we want to have on the football field. But, if he's in a, but you know, just off the top third round, yes, he's worthy of a third round pick. Mohammed says, KJ, what's the most embarrassing stiff arm you ever got? From Michael Turner, um, Atlanta Falcons running back, the biggest thighs I've ever seen on a human being. Um, he made me look like his son. He he sunned me. He sunned me a, a few times actually. And on uh, Michael Turner, Google him and just look at his thighs. Mike, money, Next Mike. Question. If you could, you put up a picture of. Gee, are those your feet? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait. Gee, are those your toes? <laughs> Hey, I think so. I think so. I think, yeah. Custom barbecue. Why is G Scott's feet a a pic a profile picture of yours? Yo, this is yo. This pot is the dog. This is this is the greatest thing ever. Seahawks seems like Seahawks Nation got the right head coach. Yo, KJ, it might be time for a manscape cleanup. Also, G, toenail paint is okay, 
but them some battle-tested dogs you got right there. Love you guys. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, this dude, mate. <laughs> uh, oh, OG Bunches, you know about Jones Barbecue Massage? <laughs> I do need a haircut. Jones I don't need a haircut. Barbecue Foot Massage. Jones Barbecue Foot Massage. That was a commercial. Uh, Syed says, you think Mike will call all the defensive plays? Also, you guys make my day with these lives. Never stop. Um, He better call the plays. We don't want that brain going to waste on Sundays. Bring that brain to life on Sundays. Yes, he, he's going to be the play caller and the head coach. And they're going to have a defensive coordinator. Scott says, shout out to Dr. Snip. Super fast and easy. Just a rubber band pop and a small burnt smell. But worth the peace of mind. Don't knock it. No knock it until you try it. Okay, I'm not opposed to getting a vasectomy. But not at 34 years old. My wife's trying to tell me to go get it. I said, no, you may change your mind. So I'm not opposed to getting snipped. Because I heard that the procedure is easier on men than it is on women. With them getting a tube side. So I, I'll do that for my lady. I love her, just not now. Fresh Visions. We had beast mode, man. Pete messed up our dynasty. Why are, on, Why are you bringing this up, man? Why are you bringing this up? Fresh visions. We had good, man. We had a good fourteen seasons. Next, OG man, bunches. Make me cry. I know you guys are tired, but if you had a one-on-one -on -one with Mike McDonald and he asked you for one tip of advice, what would you say? Love from Oahu. And he asked me for one tip of it, of advice. I tell him to, to tighten, to tighten up, tighten this discipline up. I don't want to see no loosey goosey. I don't want to see. I want to see the penalties come down. I don't see no antics in the media. I want to see guys disciplined, doing the little stuff right on the football field, tighten the discipline up. That's all I want to see. I, I, I I'll, I'll answer that. If my one tip would be this, hey Mike, be you. Don't listen to none of the former players. Don't listen to the fans. Don't listen to the media. Do what your plan is. Don't get sidetracked. Stay with your plan. J.J. Lewis says, what quarterback would you guys want Seattle to draft? Gee, thanks for not calling anyone uh, tonight. <laughs> uh, I don't know about the quarterbacks, man. I I, I really don't. I, 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 I don't have a quarterback, to be honest with you. Exotic Kennel says, Charity ba charity Baby Oil Wrestling Match, Big Patty versus KJ. I got 5000 as a donation for any charity you like. P.S. Gino Trash. He should be the cleat clean. Dang. Come on, Exotic Kennel. K Man, uh, Gino's on the way to the Pro Bowl twice. Back to back. Stop yeah. it. And you about to get uh, Big Patty Daddy. You about to get him beat up for real. He, he probably like believing his hype. Do you know I ain't never been in a fight a day in my life? You for real? I've never been in a fight. Oh wow! I've I've never thrown hands with anybody but, but, ever. But but you know what though, KJ? That's good, man. That 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 tells you about your character and the type of person you are. So mm. I wouldn't feel bad about that. I think that is an honorable thing to never have been in a fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, no, for real, man. I mean, that's that's that's, that's yeah, good. Man. No, it's not. It's not. You know, I know people grew up fighting. That's. I don't think that's necessarily the best thing for people's. Yeah. Just as says, ain't nothing but love. Ha ha. I'm just getting started. Wait till the season starts. LOL. The real shit talking has to wait. No, you don't miss a beat, Just Ed. You <laughs> talk your talk every stream you come on. Uh, Mohammed says, y'all should nominate a few listeners and then have everyone vote on who had the best questions. Winner gets interviewed on KJ All Day. Always compete. You know what? That's a great idea, Mohammed. Yeah. That's a great idea. All right, drop, uh, all right, drop in the ahead. chat just off of who y'all seen over the past football season. Who would y'all like for us to bring on the show to interview and to do a live stream with?
it, we got a lot of familiar names. Who would y'all like to see us bring on this show? And you can't stay yourself. You got to vote for somebody else. You got to vote for somebody else. Yep. Yep. No, no. It's got to be some of the people that's on the sh you know, it's on the show. <laughs> Say big patty daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody said the tax lady. Tax uh, lady good. <laughs> patty. <laughs> Just I'm like, are you potty? What are y'all talking about? I ain't got time to look at this chat. <laughs> this is why I don't look at this my, chat. Look at my. <laughs> my oh, good one. I didn't see that. <laughs> Mike Oxnard, that's so random. Oh. No, I think I think it gotta be Josiah. It gotta be Josiah. Yeah, Josiah Mohammed. Mohammed, nice too, though. He been coming Mohammed's through. Mohammed's nice. Been uh hey cat I, I i'll nominate you cat you be on it you be on it uh all right next one somebody just nominated cat stokes too uh corsos deku Tedis says first round you're taking dt or an og who you like for an oc kj OG. likes t martin and i like o or OC. offensive guard mm -hmm. and you like offensive guard uh mm -hmm. two more questions kj next guys guys we got to get to free agency before we get to the draft though free agency happens first next question no oh, producer just text us money mike show your face to the people bro stop acting like that oh that's Seriously? it that's all the questions mike show all your right. face bro people want to see who you are man Jason says, why do you feel like Sherm is more loyal to San Francisco? And I got you on Patty. He ain't hurt nobody with that soft ass build. Man. Soft ass what? Oh. Soft ass build. Hey, let me tell you something. I think Sherm is in my heart. I think Sherm is more loyal to Seattle. He'll always be more loyal to Seattle. Where does Sherm live? Seattle. Where's Sherm going to go in as a Hall of Famer? Seattle. Who drafted Sherm? Seattle. You know what I mean, so I, he, he, he loves Seattle, y'all. He loves, he loves San Fran, but he don't love San Fran like he loves Seattle. All right. We out of here? Cole says, KJ, I want you to know I watched you at 10. I'm 21 <laughs> right now. <laughs> Cole, you look like you about 12 in this picture, my boy. <laughs> you look young. Yeah. Man, I'm the old G. I'm the old guy. Yeah, I'm the old guy. Y'all, listen. I, I just texted my producer again. I said, producer, show your face. This is what he sent me. I said, Bro. show your I'm trying to get him to, to show he exists. He's the real person. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking behind the scenes, literally. Behind the camera. Hey, uh. You see, I wore the Bay hat today. That's Brandy Chastain's new soccer team in the Bay Area. They'll be coming up here to pay, play against the uh, the uh, Seattle Rain. So shout out to Brandy Chastain. Appreciate the hat. Good love team. Yeah. Had their first scrimmage today. Oh, we, about to, we about to get up out of here. We got two equipment. All right, we got to hurry up. Kilo says, right. uh, who do you hope the Seahawks go out and get in free agency? One outrageous pick and one realistic pick. Who are the top free agents? Hold up. Hold up. Give me time. Top NFL free agents. Love the show. Frosty says, love the show. Y'all got to get Witherspoon or DK on. Ooh, some good free agents. So Chris Jones from the Kansas City Chiefs. You got Josh Ooh. Allen, the pass rusher. From the Jacksonville Jaguars, T. Higgins. Ooh. No, we ain't getting him. Brian Burns, Justin uh, 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 Mudabuke, the Ravens guy. Christian Wilkins from the Dolphins. Oh, it's so many. We go. We'll, if I had, we'll have to, have if a I whole had to podcast on that. Yeah, if I had to pick right now. Damn. Give me hey, hey that Brian Burns. All right, let's go. Uh Danielle Hunter, good too. Kilo Kilo says, 
Who do you hope the Seahawks go out and get in free agency? One outrageous pick. One. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's with all the Geno hate? Love the team you have. Absolutely. Hey, KJ, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been two and a half hours of good laughs, man, and good information. So, hey, some so hard words for us. New era. I'm thoroughly excited to see where McDonald takes us. John Snyder and free agency, the way they build this team, this draft. It's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool to see a new culture. Um, so let's get it. Let's go win. All right. Wilkins, you funny as hell, too. All right. Z-Man, appreciate you. Hey, so. thank y'all for joining us. We'll see y'all next time. And remember, if you're going to do something in life, make sure you do it the right way.